live. All right. <laughs> now we're live. Just like that? In Just like seconds? That. Yeah. Man, that's better in Australia. It takes like 49, 50 seconds for it to get over. Jeez. Well, I mean, it's, it's got to flip all the bits upside down, right? Underwater, time. too, man. Oh. Do you think kids even know what VHS tapes are? Probably not. I apologize, like, live like, audience. Like, I hate to open with such a heavy topic, but it, I mean, I mean, yeah. If, if if we're gonna, if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna set some terms. Children under the age of thirteen, yeah, probably don't know. Hmm. Because like I don't know. Because like sometimes it's like ah yeah no he's seventeen eighteen he's still a kid right like we gotta, right. gotta yeah. And you also got to think like um, people our age normally have kids. Yeah. So, oh, like, would we... Do you have any VHS tapes? No. Um, but that's not... To, but that's not to say that, like, if you go to grandma and grandpa's house, which was, like, your house, you have... Still have the VHS tapes that you had collected over the years, right? Or stole from Blockbuster. So... See, asking... Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are getting ready for a Linux Teamcast Weekly. We've got about 10 minutes to uh, play around, and we're going to use that to discuss important things, like uh, do you have VHS tapes? Which I'm thinking, because I know I do, but I don't remember which one I have. It's like one or two, and I bought them as a novelty thing. Is is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out a wild guess here. Is one of them the crow? No, but I have the laser okay. disc. Okay. <laughs> I mean, let's shock everyone. I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, where is the clock hanging out these days? I was trying to reset it. Uh, I'm tired. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I have no idea where the clock is. I mean, I know I mean, it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, Fuck off. I was, I, um, I was about to say that. I'm like, that's not fucking helpful. That's not what he's actually asking. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the, oh, okay. I have the typo negative, uh, tape like that a, they made. Like a live concert or something? Or? That's like backstage touring tape that they made. And, um. Box set of Titanic. <laughs> right. Ooh, we were talking about collectibles in the pre pre super shows. And you know, somebody's sitting on that box set unopened. Yeah. I, right, I, everyone. I, 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 we gotta I remember do this. It's like two, two, two entire VHS tapes. That movie was fucking long. How much? Under and over on a box, <laughs> box set, Titanic VHS. Oh, oh, you know that's at least going for a couple hundred minimum. The complete box set with like the little cardboard case and everything yep. to keep them all together. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, probably like 150, 100, and, yeah, I, I, 150, I, I, 200 I, I, bucks. So Pedro's higher. Jordan, yeah. you're like, what, 100 bucks? No, I, I, was, I was thinking like, I was thinking more like at least 200. So I'll do 200 more. Okay, 200. Pedro's at 150. Scott's all the way in 500. <laughs> I, 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 have, I have a suspicion Scott may be correct, but probably yeah. going to be the closest, yes. <laughs> Are you ready for like kind of disappointing? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I guess. Yeah. No. No one was closest without going over. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Near and far. Look at that. <laughs> <sighs> Wherever you are. Yeah. Oh man, that's a game show we should start. Fucking eBay prices, right? <laughs> I would be down. There's like two shows. I need software development to come help out because I want to do um, what is this thing? Mm -hmm. And data mine that subreddit. And Jordan, that'd be another excellent game. Price is mm -hmm. wrong, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. E e eBay, eBay price is right. Like mm -hmm. here, here, here is some niche item. What is like what? What is the what? What are people willing to pay for this thing? Not that it matters or anyone cares. I've never seen Titanic. I somehow it's, managed to get through the nineties. Saw it on TV. Ever. It's <laughs> like it's it's not a bad movie. It's just mm -hmm. yeah. 
like a lot of things, it was way overhyped. <laughs> yeah. It was everywhere. The song was everywhere. Thanks, Celine. <laughs> oh, you didn't, motherfucker, you didn't have to live in Canada when she was having her, <laughs> her fucking resurgence, her renaissance. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Is that how it was? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was a lot of Celine Dion getting radio play as a result. I remember that. How does terrestrial radio work in Canada with the um, same, right? same, same as the states? So it's open bid license. Like, yep. Okay. I didn't know if it was like locked down to like the CBC or somebody. No, 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 no. There's the, yeah. There's like independent radio stations. There's also mm-hmm. there's also CBC Radio. Um, they they run their own, but like yeah. I don't think it's like yeah. It's not like uh, in in Britain where like radio is like a very very controlled resource. Radio one through three, baby. How many radios are there? The BBC ones are the only ones I can yeah. um, pick up at that I know of. There's more though. I think like each place has <laughs> their own local <laughs> radio station. Uh, I, was, I was gonna say B- BBC eight, the Ocho. <laughs> Shit, broad, broadcasting uh, live dodgeball. Well, I think they finally killed Channel 4, didn't they? Uh, no, they were going to privatize it, but um, there was a politician that was uh, trying to privatize it despite it already being private. Yeah. Someone had to remind her of that. Uh, so they... It, Let's it's have still... second privatization. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going. It's, yeah, it's not government-owned. It's not... It, its own private entity mm. still <laughs> what do we have for everyone tonight um, a little bit of steam deck news update kind of touching on what we talked about last week about the heat uh, stick around for that we got some news for our development community about some upcoming things you should know about if you didn't get the email and what you can and cannot get away with with your uh, capsule art oh uh, yeah also, what you can and cannot get away with vis-a-vis your Intel video card, which is apparently nothing. Yeah. We're, we're going to chime in on the Intel arc. Is it real? Is it not real? Is it still here? Is it canceled? Who knows? Bigfoot has an arc GPU in his computer. Let's ask him. Right. <laughs> Probably the only one who does. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it, they're only selling it in, like, China and specific regions of rural Appalachia in the mountains. There's the fucking new eggs depot there. I don't know. Um, I want, I want art art to succeed. We will be talking about that more during the show. But just to be clear about that, I have. Uh, it has to come out if it if it ha- if it is to have any hope of doing anything. It needs to come out. Damn it, Intel. Intel. Stock, come on. stock traders, listen to this guy's insight. If they release it. <laughs> They can sell it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that in your analysis? <laughs> stock traders already know that. You you need to have the stocks in order to buy them. Someone has to be selling the stocks. That's... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. See, you can, you can corner people in a dark alley with a wrench and knock them over the head and steal their stocks. <laughs> and and steal it's their stocks as well. Oh, no, it's, called, it's called a hostile takeover. Like, hey, mister, is that some stocks in your pockets? <laughs> you, you got some stocks in your socks? Give them here. Give me the socks, too, with the stocks in them. So on the topic of socks, where you at with socks, man? Uh, do you like the little ones with, like, no sock above the ankle? So, m- if I'm wearing my- sneakers, I don't mind them. All my ankle hair was obliterated by, like, synthetic socks. There's, like, a bald, like, the hair on my legs just stops at a point. And then it's completely bald on the way down. So I, I made the switch to ankle socks in the hopes that, like, oh, maybe maybe it'll grow back. It didn't grow. It's now you just get compliments on your smooth legs. <laughs> yeah, now, now I got great ankles. I walk around in capris, and all, 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 all the people are jealous. <laughs> I was thinking about that today, man, because, like, if I put on the one... Like the ankle socks, like the ones that come up to your calves and stuff like yep. that. Uh, those are kind of normal. When I put on the little lowrider ones, those feel weird, but they don't bother me. But I don't typically wear those. But I have like the 
option three, the third matter of sock, the third phase of sock, that it can be tube sock. No, no, man. Like the log one that's lost the elastic at the top, so they just nah. drop out. Yeah. Nah, uh, the droopy those socks. Are terrible. Those just get thrown in the bin. It's like if I have to be pulling yeah. the socks up midday, it's like Yeah. I get a pair off from walking around the house, but sometimes you'll you'll lose a sock just by stepping like, God damn it. Huh? <laughs> I you know, since since the pandemic, I've kind of given up on socks. I just walk around barefoot all the time. I don't do it now. <laughs> flip flops. I'm wearing flip flops right now. <laughs> I cannot slide. As far flip flop without socks. <laughs> um, Linux Ryu got moved into his new place. Yes, yeah, he's in one piece. He's got a bed. <laughs> well, he actually put cat, the bed apparently. together so he can sleep in it. <laughs> hey, man, well, it, it's well, a big step in a young boy's life when you're no longer <laughs> just sleeping on the mattress, floor mattress. You've been there. We all know it. Uh, this, I, I, pr- I honestly prefer floor mattress. Yeah, the futon idea that the um, Japanese have, it doesn't sound completely alienating to me either. Mm. I mean, I mean, I just put like the box spring on the bed or on the floor and then put a mattress on top of that. It's fine. I would. It was a really soft, cushy mattress futon something like that just i was something well i can go two ways if i'm going to be sleeping on a traditional bed i want it to be very firm but in my best life i would have like an industrial sized hammock and fall the right the fuck out of that each and every night that would be brilliant <laughs> well, you like, don't I to sleep in an alarm a clock night around, just, in, a futon, uh, in a hammock and um i woke up at about 3 a.m it's like no i gotta go find a bed <laughs> Mm. it's like uh, everything had dug into my body and I don't have that big a layer of fat so it was right up against my bones and, and, that's why you put a blanket on it man <laughs> and a mattress under it so when you like reach over to try to grab something that does that flip thing yeah. and you're like hi floor at, at least you have like an airbag or something <laughs> something to slow you down a bit Yeah, something that'll allow you to still have the gusto and energy required to yeah. crawl back in the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's not the fall that kills you. It's the rapid deceleration afterwards. Right? <laughs> this is the reason I no longer sit on bouncy balls, man. After that second one, like I, I'm too old to bounce back from that. That took like three days to work out after, you know, yeah. violently hitting the floor <laughs> from like half a meter up. Uh, yeah, deceleration can, uh, bite you in the ass, in the back, with the head. All right, 59. Close all the unnecessary tabs. We're going to make a bookmark out of that one. There. Did you, did you really make a bookmark or did you? In it as a tab as an app tab yeah. no i just dragged the uh <laughs> if you click on the little lock in the url bar you, you drag it down it just creates um bookmark on the uh, yeah that, that's, bar, that, so. that's where most of my bookmarks come from is like random shit i've accidentally dragged there mm. <laughs> i actually curate my bookmarks I get curious, especially since, like, Chrome has the sync between all your devices. I'm like, Mm -hmm. what the hell was, how did that, all right, I go on, like, exploration journeys, man. (laughs) No, I I, I like to keep a wall between that, between browsers. Sometimes it's like, you know, maybe I don't need my personal browsing history showing up on this computer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. I never sync the history between the two, but I specifically tell uh, Firefox to pull all the passwords from Chrome, and then I tell Chrome to pull all the passwords from Firefox. There. I'll be (laughs) fucking around with something, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go have dinner. You know what? Send this tab to that tablet. Oh. Oh, here, 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 here's one. I'm gonna steal this from Castle Super Beast because I think it's a great, it's a great conversation. What do you think is more embarrassing, your Google history or your calculator history? I don't have anything. My Google history is boring as fuck. So, yeah. 
probably be doing something like, I don't feel like this. What's 15 minus 7? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just because it's that yeah. task bar right there. to like, calculator. Yes. P- punch it in. Yeah, punch it in. Yeah. Right. It, it's usually divisions. My brain doesn't do divisions very well by itself. Oh, the human race. We're not wired for maths at all. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> And yet, this is how we've decided to define the world around us. <laughs> Hello, computer. How do you do? I do math. Okay. <laughs> we've fallen into the trap of big maths, man. <laughs> Hear me out, conspiracy theorist. I could probably keep spitballing with us if you give me a minute. Um, <laughs> Yay, uh, math. I don't know. Like, uh... Math is like one of the things you have to deal with. I've never taken any joy or was never any good at it. Yeah. Like once we get into trig, I'm like, I'll never use this. And like abstract algebra and I was like, really never going to use this. Um, <laughs> I mean, algebra, I sort of get, it's like, you just started, started algebra in university. It's like, oh, matrixes. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to learn how to do them. Cool. <laughs> Later in life, what I self-taught myself was like, what do I need to search to find these equations? And like, how uh, do I need to go about this? Ah, Wolfram Alpha exists. Yes. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> you tell me this now. <laughs> oh, you, you, you want a nice little graph too? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Here. You can do that. Um, yeah, I mean, Stack Overflow. Good math teacher. <laughs> when, when, it, when it's up. That was a bit of a problem this week. Yeah, Amazon, uh, yeah. Amazon Nulls East went down. East East two, yeah, and it's it's usually East one. So East one is usually the thing I got to deal with when that mm-hmm. goes down. So I was just happy that it wasn't it wasn't my problem this week. Fair. Yeah, it's like all right. Well, how's their uh, Canada CD in? It's not bad. Um. A cup for a couple of years they didn't have they didn't have like all the new new shit, but it's uh yeah, it's a parody now. Is it just like Canada and we got like two on one coast and No so uh there's the there's the main data center in Montreal and they've been working on one in Vancouver for a while, but that one's not up yet. Speaking of Canada, did anybody else check out the abandoned yet still maintained? Canadian city. I saw the video for that. Yeah. I saw the thing you posted. <laughs> Someone needed to launder some money, didn't they? No, it's got an interesting history. Apparently, <laughs> it was uh, some rare earth mineral that a mining company were like, we're going to make so much money off this. Mm. And it was in such a remote part of Canada. Like, no one's going to just voluntarily start. So they built a pharmacy shopping grocery mm. uh doctor's office like, I, I guess they're, they're still maintaining it in the hopes that they can get that operation off the ground or whatever well they ended up selling it ah because before they lit it up and i mean it's got apartment housing regular housing like it it's from like static 1980s mm. um that's how i know the price of a pack of smokes in canada in the 1980s was 70 cents mm. um it's got a pub but yeah, that company, because like right before they lit everything up, I guess fortunate for them, the that mineral like bottomed out. I guess they found it everywhere else. Mm. Then some guy privately bought it, another Canadian dude, and he's had it and he's been paying to keep it maintained. And now it's in like they're planning on creating a green city tech environment type thing. I don't know. No. I mean, mm. if, if the place is already developed, yeah, you might as well try and do something with it. Because, <clears throat> like, yeah, there's that's the thing about Canada. There's a shit ton of land here. No one lo- no one lives in it, though. Uh, especially, like, in the middle. Yeah. Like, that's I, not even a joke. Like, you look at population, and it's like... Yeah, it's, it's all nothing. clustered by the border, yeah. <laughs> it's where it's warmest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's where all the stuff is, right? Like... <laughs> Fifty million dollar, I mean, what is it called? Kit Kitsalt? Kitsalt? Yeah. Kitsalt? 
yeah, like it is like legit. Oh man, that's the old Royal Bank logo. Logo, damn that that brings me back. Oh man, there's the pub. Yeah, there's a pub that looks looks like a pub. Grocery that looks like a gr- yeah, it looks like huh? an empty ass grocery store. Sears, man. So we, I think there's still a couple of Sears up here. Oh man, uh, a doctor's office. Yeah. yeah? But those, yeah, those those eighties ass chairs. Oh man, yeah, those, those orange chairs. I didn't realize it was a slideshow. I'm gonna pull a couple. Of them. Like it looks, it looks, it looks nice. Yeah. Maybe some. Is that a garage? Do they have some indoor pictures? Oh, oh wait, no, we, we just looked at that. Here we go. Yeah, like they've maintained all the houses and stuff. That's the weird thing. Mm. Oof. Oh, it's so 80s. <laughs> oh my God. It's like walking into my grandparents' place. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's almost bad enough to where I like it. Almost. If the cabinets were orange, maybe. Man, when, oh, when, we, were, when, we, were, when we were house shopping, there was one place we really wanted. That had like the ugliest orange wallpaper in the kitchen. It's like, oh my god, we have to keep this thing. This is amazing. It's so hideous. <laughs> well, orange carpet. Right. Yeah, or, or, or yeah, the orange shag. Like, free boat. <laughs> yeah, that, that uh-huh. comes with the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like what are we committing? All right. Yeah, man, that's weird. And apparently, that is. There's another one. Oh, here we go. This office will be closed. Canadian prices in the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. Gasoline, 90 cents. Chips, 50. Cheesies. The fuck's cheesies? Cheetos. Oh. 50. Lemon cord. No idea. Lemon no curd. Idea. I don't know. Gum. Gum, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to fucking go here, man. Like, that's fascinating. Yeah. Oh, it's got a library, too. Forget about that. Huh. I don't know. There we go. That was our educational. And that's not the only one in Canada, apparently. Yeah, no, there's like, there's a shit ton of company towns like up up in the north. Um, as, or uh, out out uh, out west in Alberta, if you go into like the tar sands and stuff, yeah, they have, like residences set up for people to go there. Well, Delay. this is like not accessible from the. There's like a dirt trail that leads. You're like in sure, fuck yeah. all nowhere. Then you're like, what? proper remote then <laughs> yeah yeah like a good place to keep in mind during the zombie apocalypse but i, I want to know yeah. infrastructure wise what are they using for power uh, yeah that's that's an excellent question uh what, what's, the, what's the, you could tell what, that they what, were running that power because some of those lights had like what yellow uh, marks so they were where on. where uh, yeah, the buildings what, had what, power. what was the place called again kit something yeah Get salt. S A U L T. British Columbia. Okay. B C. Um. Okay. You know, I don't know. What are they? Because, like in 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 Ontario, we have like a large hydroelectric, uh, di- like we, Niagara Falls, right? Like mm. that's where that's where, that's where uh, that's where a lot of our electricity. Okay, goes. there's like another abandoned town. I think it's in Canada that it's attached to a hydroelectric thing. Yeah. This wasn't that. Yeah, I didn't go deep deep on this, but I was like, wait, what? What we'll find about this? Because I'm not interested in ghost towns. I'm interested in ghost towns that have been maintained and are still empty. I'm like, what's going on? Okay, so... Uh, electricity is either going to be water uh, or geothermal. Mm. Like That was just like crazy talk or anything like that, but now that we have options like Starlink, I'm like, hmm. 
But how do you get food? <laughs> yeah, with a bow and arrow, then. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Um, <laughs> you, you, you like manually plowing? I'm sure it's got a plow store. It's got a mall. Yeah. Yeah, you can get it at the Sears and Roebuck. Right? Yeah, just Sears. You can order it from the catalog. <laughs> It'll show up eventually, yeah. <laughs> fuck I keep postman. mailing you guys checks. Where's my <laughs> shit? Oh, man. All right. Um, There. We've learned something. Unintentionally, but we did. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get on. Oh, way. who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I even know that. I've never seen the show, but I know that. <laughs> Cultural reference. I get yep. that one. I saw a uh, guy... On just rolled into the shop, there was a DeLorean on the um, lift, and he's like, less than 10,000 miles original tires. Wow. Like, huh. Didn't know it broke down that soon. Uh. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, does does it do the thing where they, like, go under the car and they shoot up, and then you can, like, travel through time? Or? No, no, no. Uh, damn it. He had to go back. Well, he had to go back and, like, fill in everyone, because we're like, you're not letting him drive. 140 year old rubber are you like no 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 it's a show court they take it out for the parade like once a year and drive it all right um shit yeah. man that was 40 years ago fuck yeah god damn it what was the dmc 1979 i think yeah yeah, yeah no uh, well, 1982 was 40 years ago think about that <laughs> Get off our lawns. <laughs> oh no, does that mean that we're gonna have EA releasing Battlefield 1982? <laughs> Love is the Battlefield. <laughs> I still think it's a good idea if we do Back to the Future, but the kid goes back to the early yeah. 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even 90s, man. Like late I mean, 80s, I mean, early yeah, 90s. That, that, that's what Austin Powers would be about if it was written today. It would be about a guy who was frozen in the 90s and then woke up now. Right. Uh, whatever happened to... No, never mind. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting two sidetracked here. <laughs> Promise we're going to do a show. You. What did you do to my EVO? Jordan. What did I do to you? What? I saw you. You were down here messing this up. Oh, I guess I hit a button by accident. <laughs> by accident. <laughs> I, I, I guess I hit EVO. the tab key. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see the cursor now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a clever man. I'd read that off as like, R Eve, you. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming to the planet Arium. I'm sorry, I have a rare medical condition that prevents me from pronouncing planet Arium. Uh, <laughs> right, let's fucking do this. Can we do it? Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, episode 519 underway. Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Wearing my um, very thin but very cool orange shirt, I'm in stone, and wearing, is a Blind Guardian this week, Jordan? It is. Blind Guardian t-shirt representing... Crefield, man, man, Germany. ...with the Yoda shirt yes you know it. you love it as well you know the, with headphones that, that, that was my fa that was my favorite book from the millennium trilogy the 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 boy with the yoda shirt true story the girl with the dragon <laughs> tattoo and no, no, you people need to read some fucking books my god um, joining us live as well cocaine voltron because that's what we all add up everyone watching this on twitch and stuff man people read books they just don't collect them Shh, shut up I, I read the books that I collect. <laughs> that is like one of the reasons I love you so much because you really hate trees. I do. <laughs> they, I mean, they just keep growing back, man. What, what are you going to do? You just got to keep cutting them down and turning them to books. Hey, man. The, what was it? The Vostor Noratai yeah. start showing up and eating people. And oh, like, hey. yes. The darkness. Hey, yeah. winter now delights. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you know what? If if I get eaten by like book demons, fair. I'll take that. Fair. One. I'll take that, <laughs> take that one. <laughs> now, what's been going on, ladies and gentlemen? I have. Uh, I think I figured out it's never the Nvidia card. It's always the Nvidia card. Playing around with the Jackbox, still trying to 
normalize everything with this uh, AIO Pro for I can finish the damn video. And um, I think I forgot what it was. I, I was being crazy. I was doing something crazy, everyone. I was trying to run a video card in the PC. But you don't How do dare that. you? No. <laughs> On I'm a just... Linux gaming podcast? How dare you? I had a video, <laughs> card, a video card plugged card? into the motherboard. Instead, like a normal person slinging everything over you know, X11 forwarding with fiber optics, uh, which is the right way to do it. According Clearly. to the Curse of the Raven's Cry guy, at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. So maybe I'll have that video wrapped up and I can finally do the Patreon video of how everything's stuck together and like walk you through the DaVinci Resolve thing. Looking forward to doing that. Jordan, anything new and exciting since uh, we're, we're sans squirrel? No, I mean, I, I I was taking care of lots of dogs last week. The, they're gone, or the, the, the extra one is gone now. So it's it's so quiet now. It's so weird. There's usually, like, running around or, like, children screaming or dogs barking, and now it's nothing. It, 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 <laughs> the the silence dog is uh, that you did keep, uh, is it sad that the other one is gone? <laughs> yes, she freaked the fuck out. She freaked out so much that that Dio, the German shepherd ran out the door straight to the fucking car because he was just like, Nope, too crazy. <laughs> we got to be careful with that equation with children screaming and the dog. You never want those two to intersect. <laughs> I mean, and then you run upstairs to see what's up and the child is running after the dog screaming. <laughs> right. Poor dog. Yeah. Put it down, put it down. <laughs> no, it was, yeah, it, it, it was an interesting adventure. I'm glad it's over. Because, yeah, it's very stressful. You know, you know, having a dog is like having a suicidal toddler running around the house. So having having two is a bit of an energy expenditure. Wait until uh, you get a sheep. Oh, man. <laughs> what? I don't know, Pedro, you're going to have to you're going to have to teach me about sheep husbandry. <laughs> it was I was eight years old last time my grandma had sheep. So I don't know. Probably ask Nori. I think her grandma still has sheep. <laughs> don't don't throw a goat Nori into the sheep bus. <laughs> is, she, is, is Nori's grandma Welsh? Uh, no, she's Portuguese. Go figure. Okay. <laughs> no one's making assumptions. Have you bought any like collectible dolls lately? Uh, no. Um, I, I've I, I've been lowballing. We were talking about it in mm-hmm. the pre pre super shows, and I've been lowballing. Who are you pissing off on eBay this week? Yeah, uh, I was trying to get a fifty six hundred XT for Nori. Uh, because yes, the 57, uh, the RX 570 is great, but it only has four gigs of RAM. So she will eventually need something with eight. Wait, I was trying to, because like, right now. Is she, her pornographic Skyrim mods not working? Uh, it, it's not so much the nudie mods, though she has those too. Uh, it's the 4K and 8K texture mods. It's, it's, it's the Ray Trace semen mod, you know, it just fucking kills them. <laughs> It kills the performance no, every time. No, it's man not the porn mods, it's just the nudie mods because Nori was I mean, like, you think no. it's regular Skyrim is unmodded and the battle carrier shows up and you're like, semen everywhere. God damn yeah. it. Because <laughs> Nori was like, no, women in this game just look like the man body, but with lumps in the front. So we got to change that. And the right. nudie mods have like accurate body shapes. Go oh, figure. Is, is, isn't isn't <laughs> that just what women are? Male bodies with lumps in the front? How are you not single? <laughs> uh, I, I, listen, I don't, I don't know how bodies work. I'm sorry. In video games, he's talking about character models, everyone. <laughs> it better be. So, um, what is the horse then? Is it just a regular body with like legs it's in the just bottom? A dog I, on no, no, no. no. <laughs> Obvious, obviously, because of how liquid it is, it it's clearly falls under soft body physics domain. It's very, very gelatinous. It's like, I, I don't, I don't know that, that one man, my, I got penises on the brain. It's the enough, enough about dicks. Let's talk about decks. Yeah. So good news, everyone. Uh, all deck reservations are scheduled to ship in 2022. We got this announcement. Uh, this is from P- uh, PC Games N. Uh, you can find the links to all this in our show notes. Uh, the Steam Deck Twitter uh, confirmed this as well, that uh, anyone who has gotten a reservation this year will can expect to receive them by end of year. So, you know, we were talking a while ago about, you know, they've, they've been putting out the uh, Steam Decks with these slightly slower SSDs because of supply chain issues, you know. Well, that be damned. 
you know, they're they're on track. So hopefully, hopefully they're going to still going to be making them in 2023 because that's when my budget opens up to buy one. Oh, I think so. And yeah, if you were kind of sort of maybe waiting to see uh, what the wait time was going to be, if you order one now, you might get it before 2022 is over. And uh, Lauren Siang actually put out a uh, tweet announcing that if you saw something that said, like, okay, your reservation will ship after Q3, now that just says it ships in Q4, which, you know, is after Q3. So a lot of people were saying, eh, good move to Q4. No, it's just a bit more accurate now. (laughs) Well, I mean, I mean, after Q3 could mean like Q1 of next year too, right? Like they're yes. they're 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 being they're being specific, giving us actual time frames. Here's what I'm and, thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, to a lot of people, got an email, and they quoted Henry Cavill from The Witcher and went, "Fuck," <laughs> because you know what? You weren't expecting that Steam Deck at Christmas or next week or anything. That money's spent. You know, you're you're going to recoup that money later on during the year and have it ready when you're still new. Uh oh. Uh-oh. I, I mean, you, you know, there, there's the meme about Valve time, but the Steam Deck has kind of been the exception here. They've been, aside, aside from delays that they themselves announced, they're like, yeah, yo. That this- was the original announcement, and instead of uh, coming out in December, it came out in February. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that they get their supply chains. I mean, and again, it's always safe to err on this side of Valve time. Uh, huh? They get it out, and uh, yeah, they've been pretty good with their uh, announcements on Twitter. Like they say, okay, we're going to get all of the Q2 people in Q2, and they have. Again, so. I still <laughs> firmly believe a lot of people are not ready for that email. <laughs> oh, for, I, 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 absolutely, yeah. You put you put down five bucks like whenever ago. It's like, hey, do you want to spend the remaining five hundred of that? Mm-hmm. And you're like, yes, but. You open up your wallet and like a moth comes out and you're like, Uh-oh. <laughs> do you know one of the unintentional effects this had, uh, is this completely devalued the secondhand, uh, reservation market. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. The scalper is now higher on borrowed time. <laughs> like everyone can get it now. Well, almost, you know, as long yeah. as you had a reservation. So yeah, there you go. And Hey, if you're not going to be able to buy a deck, talk to your friend, maybe they want to buy it. And yeah. now, now, and now, you can even mod your deck. Software you can crank it. Yes, there was crank a real big good. thing. We talked about it. Uh, I remember a couple of months ago about the plugins, which was a couple of uh, since you know the Steam Deck um, interface is all just very clever uh, Chrome embedded framework uh, for everything. So people figured out that ooh, you can add a couple of plugins to add some more functionality here and there. And the uh, fine folks behind the Steam Deck HQ website have created their own plugin. It's on the Crankshaft um, framework. Let's call it that. Uh, and what theirs does is if you go Wait to a, a game's library... you can library, play Zanamic? Uh, you, you no! can. <laughs> that's the thing no! about the From Software game, for they make the one uh, with different skins, uh, is that you can make your character look like anything you want. But yeah, the... You can use theirs. It basically just gives you a little thingy uh, that Ven was showing on the video. If you're looking at the video version, you get a little indicator on the game page uh, that gives you the review score that they gave it. And if you tap on it, then you get to read like everything that they've done uh, in order to get the game to work or if it just worked out of the box and the their actual review of the game. Uh, there's a couple of issues with their plugin specifically. Uh, it doesn't like the Proton DB plugin, and the Proton DB plugin is by far it, it's not even comparable. It's a lot more uh, comprehensive in the amount of games okay. that it supports. For so, everyone without a Steam Deck, because Jordan was I long, I was like, I don't know what the plugin DB. I I, uh, I, I know it, I, I know what it does. It just adds the Steam uh, adds the Proton DB rating uh, to the Steam page, which is a useful piece of information. It, it opens. Yeah, it yeah. opens the actual Proton DB yeah. page. It's on the if you go to the Crankshaft website, it's uh, crankshaft.space. Uh, it's I, I, I would uh, actually, actually one of the ones in the homepage. Uh, I, I would argue though, but like I I agree with you, Pedro. Like that, like the Steam D or the Proton DB <laughs> thing is kind of like the crucial plugin. I would almost say yeah. that needs to be native functionality at this point. Yeah, if you under, understanding whether or not your game is going to actually run on the damn console is kind of important. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a little bit. So maybe maybe, maybe the uh, Steam Deck HQ guys can uh, make that operate a little. Maybe, better. but then again, you think if you're the Proton DB guy and you're like, man, I put a lot of work in this, and like maybe <laughs> I'm going to pull a reverse of Valve like they did with Steam DB. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I think that if the Proton DB people, um, if Valve Person. was going to make it official and just start including that in the store page before you even buy a game, it just gives you the Proton rating. I think Valve would be okay with throwing money at them. It's like, here, we're gonna do this. I, I mean, <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 see how well the the deck rating system works because, like, I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard a lot of stuff about that. Like, people mm-hmm. people it's running mostly into issues. accurate. There's a couple yeah. of glaring issues with a couple of the ones that say it doesn't work, and then you tap on it and you play just fine out of the box without having to do anything. That needs work. <laughs> and again, we have not seen mass adoption of the deck yet, just because they haven't been able to make enough for a mass, yeah. ad- you know, in, in time for Christmas or whatever december thing you do i don't know what it is i was a little i was a little worried that this was actually going to be the plug-in for we were were talking about like that fishing crank controller a couple weeks ago (laughs) i thought that this was like native support for that at first i wonder if i oh man well can i get that USB-C adapter for my sega fishing yeah maybe yeah Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they made well, the adapters for all the Dreamcast and the Saturn. What, what, uh, what was what was so, the yeah. what was the Super Nintendo Bazooka peripheral called? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Type <laughs> SNES Bazooka followed by Dark Souls on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let, 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 let's see what the speedrun record for that is. Because I'm sure it exists. Yeah. Right. The, sco- the scope six. All right. Okay. Before you run away screaming, it's all deck all the time. We just got one little thing and it's a client beta update. Yeah, it is. Uh, this one is just a very small update. Uh, they've been doing very good with the, their updates lately. They broke the Wi Fi again, but this time it's only on uh, five gigahertz networks. But uh, yeah, they, they still. Oh, need just to the fix one that them. everyone's using by default, probably. That one probably nowadays, yeah. Uh, that that that's doing the same stupid thing that it was that it just drops, but the fix is still the same. You just enable developer mode and you turn off power saving on the Wi-Fi module, and away you go. Uh, the but this update comes with the um, guides. Basically, if you open the um, overlay while you're playing a your game, now you have an option to for just finding the guides right then and there. Uh, if you had a lot of screenshots, there was a chance that everything would slow down. And there were a couple of games that I have like 300 and something screenshots. So, uh, yeah, that, that 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 was a thing. So very glad they fixed that. One and, mixed thing they... Oh, go, go ahead. I was just going to say, one, one mixed thing they added too. Um, that I, I, I don't know. I, I, when, I, when I read this, I thought some people are really going to appreciate it and some people are going to fucking hate it. But the Steam Overlay has uh, achievement notifications. Mm-hmm. And uh, by default, uh, it would show you uh, the little pop-up every time you, if, if the game supported it, there was an achievement progress. So like one out of 500,000 berries is the example. Um, but uh, it used to have an audio cue. Now that's been disabled and you only get audio cues when you uh, when you actually complete the achievement, I don't know though because if you're actually like looking, if you're an achievement hunting person, maybe you want that ding. I don't I don't know that that, that yeah, seems like something you want that- the ding for when you get the achievement. But every time you make progress and the little notification comes up, I'm sure that would get annoying. I'm sure I'm sure it would <laughs> until you're looking for like one of five thousand like ass feathers from Assassin's Creed, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, like I, I can see the use case, right? That's 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 all I'm saying. Yeah. Didn't they add a, um, was it like the update before that? They added a temperature indicator. Yes. Yes. Th- that, that was the, the previous update they uh, coming on from uh, last week. And the like the big announcement that they had to do, them and Nintendo, to say, don't play your things out in the sun, you guys. Uh, they had to do that. It, ha, ha, were you able to get it to pop up or did you try? Uh, that it only shows uh, if you are... Uh, somewhere did, there where it's like did, 35 or did, higher or did you point under... like a bunch of nori's hair dryers at the deck yeah no. place, place. <laughs> what you but should yeah, have done it, Pedro, it I mean, you, me. does, does your hob have like a see-through yes okay you could put it in there <laughs> oven you gotta toss it wait you know what you know what you know i'm sorry that will probably break your deck put it in the microwave <laughs> no, stick, stick it in the That'll toaster break it quick. Yeah. <laughs> we're all about efficiency here at lgc <laughs> Have you taken it in the bathtub? But yeah, uh, it now has oh. that little indicator. Have uh, you if seen you're people above that... the uh, temperature, right. it's 
screams at you. It's like, no, oh, it's going to get warm. <laughs> On that topic, you're all serial killers. If you use tablets, laptops, I've seen that. I know people like that. Like, where are you at? Chill it out in the tub. They got the thing set on like that. And I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. No. That, that's danger zone, man. <laughs> Under blankets. <laughs> Just, you know, uh, completely suffocating the bottom intakes of laptops. Anyway, <laughs> announcing Steam Bash Bash. I know. I know what you're thinking. Your first thought is, you know, where's Steam? Is this, is this? I want the Kush Kush. I know you do. Corn know. shell, baby. Steam Bash, what is it? You never heard about it. It runs through September 19th. At, that's when it starts 10 a.m. all the way to September 26th. If you didn't get an invite to it, check out your list of eligible games that you might have put out. Now, a discount is not required for this, but it's going to help because they're going to feature everything if you're action bashy bash game. But here's the thing. What, what defines a bash bash, Jordan? <laughs> Well, uh, so they actually do list out some of the requirements. Uh, The main one is that melee weapons feature prominently in the gameplay. So they say it's likely going to be action platformers, hack and slashers, spectacle fighters, stuff like that. Hmm. Beat them up. It's all very well and good, but uh, that promotional image that they picked, for some reason, my brain does not like looking at that. White background, black foregrounds. Although then I am with you. I think I, I think someone should submit like like a like a shell scripting game to this and be like, yeah, no, it's bash. It's bash. Oh man, just wait, wait, yeah. See how long you can keep somebody <laughs> irritated at Valve with that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh man. Uh you know what? Maybe it, your next ba- bashing game can come ten out of ten recommended by um Ubisoft <laughs> and Polygon. Yes. And, or uh, what was the one that they actually uh, was? Uh, there we go. Uh, the Award prog- Prognosticators 2022. Uh, <laughs> most I, listen, likely I, to I, win I, the most awards category. You know yes. what? You say this, Pedro, but I, golf clap at that. Golf clap at that. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's Seriously, they, the yeah. example images that they used for this are very much in post law territory because I, when I first looked at them, it's like those are legit games, and then I actually look at them. Oh, shit, no, they're not. <laughs> I want to play Custard Castle Small Claims Court. That game looks dope as fuck, dude. I uh, like Guitar Billionaire. I mean, come on, it has like the uh, like 3D models from the Metallic Ops. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Driving the- person going, it's probably fine with the s- police sirens behind them. It's yeah, yeah, the, fine. The, 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 the conception of Esme, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually very well done, but uh, the actual bit of news is, well, uh, if you have a game on Steam, you can no longer use the teeny tiny little uh, capsule art, as they call it, uh, which is the, like, smaller Passing bit life. of... <laughs> <laughs> Someone so got good. paid to make these, and They're so I'm jealous. Good. <laughs> yeah. Somebody Someone... was stuck doing some shit, and they finally went, all right. Knock yourself out. Yeah. You can't hijack those uh, little capsules anymore <laughs> to advertise for Valve competitors or uh, completely dissuade people from even opening the store page, which, you know, costs you, the game developers, money and Valve as well because they're getting their cut. Uh, so they're trying to sanitize that particular bit and say, no, you just put your game art there. You can have your art and like a logo or the name of the game if it if you don't have like a logo that has the title uh in writing you can have text to say the name of the game that's it you can't have anything else if you want to like have okay there's a new season uh or there's a new bit of dlc that you want to advertise you can set up an override for a limited time and then it goes back yeah uh (laughs) about that about that too uh so all the text in the override has to be completely localized so you have to Mm -hmm. uh, yes it needs to be readable in all languages uh and it will only last for 30 days Uh, i like like flippet's take on it though the the the, the that that was pretty good yeah yeah. (laughs) i mean that here it is this is why we can't have nice things like take three from valve you know valve had to yeah Stop a lot, you know, the coming soon bump. We covered that years ago that people were just cycling through that and like advertising. But then again, hey, I'm not going to miss the list of awards in the thumbnail from places that we've never heard of or probably yeah, just made up in the first place, right? Like, yeah, how, who? 10, 10 had, out of 10, an Amazon review. Who? Just, I'm just, an Amazon review. <laughs> Have either of you ever played that game? Like, you're looking at the awards and like, what? No, no. Like, yeah, I'm too lazy like, to look uh, it up. Okay, I recognize that. I recognize that. What? What? Eh? 
Okay. <laughs> now the, the 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 weird one is that when we get a mention, it's like, okay, now I know this game isn't legitimate because right. who the hell would actually yeah. quote us? <laughs> so yeah, going from uh, what is it, September first. This will be going into effect, and I'm guessing we're going to be seeing a couple of games that just have their capsule art removed entirely. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, last thing, not next to last thing before we get out of here is, uh, oh, okay, this is the part where Jordan explains why do we have to look at it like this again? <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's look at let's look at git diffs, you guys. For, <laughs> I, I I guess for for people who don't know what a gif uh, a diff is, uh, a diff is a expression of text that shows a file of what lines are being added and what lines are being removed, which is the only way we can tell what the actual updates are for Proton Experimental on any given release because they don't actually say hey as of blah blah blah. They only do that sometimes. Uh, but anywho, uh, the changes coming this time is Unravel 2 and... Uh, these are separate games, I'm sorry. Unravel 2 and Zuma's Revenge. I thought yes. Unravel 2 and Zuma's Revenge. My brain Revenge read that as the same, and I'm like, shit, Unravel yeah. 2? I gotta go check yeah. that out. Uh, Outriders is having uh, has a crash fix. Uh, Civ 6 is having a... Uh, has a crash fix as well. Final Fantasy 14 players rejoice uh, because now you can actually play it on a clean prefix. Uh, that was a regression in experimental. And also, you know, you can sign in because, or rather, you don't have to worry about accidentally punching in your password wrong because the when you came to the sign-in screen, it would just force the Steam on-screen keyboard to uh, pop up on the Steam Deck. You know, little, little fixes here, but they're appreciated. And if you're into boomer shooters... Uh... Just in time for episode two, they actually fixed the performance of a HROT, or HROT, however you want to say it. HROT? What? Hrot. what? Is, is, that an, is, is that the name of the game, or is that like an acronym? I don't know. No, that's the name of the game. It's um, Eastern European Boomer Shooter, uh, and it is, uh, it's actually a very fun game. Uh, I played the demo a long time ago, and yeah, episode two is out. I think it's out now, or it's going to be out very, very soon. Uh, so yeah, no, just in time. That's perfect timing. <laughs> All right. Neat. Okay. Something new and very much proton related is uh, a game. You probably have, if you have steam installed, you probably have a copy of half-life two laying around because you're like me. You waited until like 13 years after the release and you heard everyone bitch and moan and complain about half-life two. Then you get to half-life two episode two. You get there to that point. And you too get to go to the internet going, mother, f- what? <laughs> Fuck it, That's fuck where they hit the brakes. Right. Yeah, 2007 um, was a shit year. <laughs> oh man, I was I was IRL on that XKCD comic, man. But maybe you want some more Half-Life 2. This has been in the works for a long time. Half-Life 2, we don't go to Ravenholm. And it's a mod that you might have guessed it. You go to Ravenholm. And what could go wrong? All the fun stuff. Pretty easy to get set up, but you do have to play it with Proton, unfortunately, which had the added benefit of it might not work with AMD cords, according to the developer of Lutris, who was like, what the fuck, what the fuck, why can't I run it? And I was just <laughs> launching it and giving it a play. But was anyone excited to revisit Ravenholm? I don't think anyone's excited to revisit Ravenholm. <laughs> Ravenholm uh, uh, worked really well because it was fairly short and it was a very intense and heavy atmosphere bit, like very... Uh, pushing the Half-Life 2 engine uh, to as close to a psychological horror game as it could go. And it worked because it was tiny. <laughs> well, we've seen some different... Yeah, people always want to... Well, it was also the place where you got the buzz saws, man. Come on. Yes. Like, <laughs> yes. You, you just gotten the uh, zero point uh, uh-huh. gravity thing, yeah. gun. And, and, now, and now you um, can weaponize physics. Yeah. yeah. And even in <laughs> you Half-Life can just 2. shoot saw blades. Half Life 2 just straight up dunked on the whole zombie problem with, like, yeah, you make podiums with spinning blades on them. Yep. Done. <laughs> but, you know, this, you got to go back through. It's got new traps, new deaths, and, uh, you know, the corpses that get up so you kill everything. And there's a demo. Go play with it. I played around with it for about five minutes. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stop because I'm going to stream it. And that was last Sunday. So, yeah, the uh, I, some, someone in the comments uh, posted a walkthrough, and you can get through it. the The demo is about like half an hour long, forty five minutes, so it's pretty short. Okay. Yeah. And you know, Raven Home, and some people keep coming back to it. I know a couple of weeks ago, somebody uh, released a Raven Home mod that was lit, like Raven Home during the daytime. Mm. Doesn't that sound boring? 
I yeah. can't. Yeah, I can't help but feel like that's defeating the purpose a little bit. <laughs> I, I I still want a fully playable full life consequences mod. Yes, <laughs> we need to have like Half Life full life consequences. <laughs> that's, the, that's the real Half Life Three. Sean Freeman, Sean Freeman's the sequel, brother, the Bassin ain't easy. Indeed. All right. Well, coming up next, uh, there's absolutely going to be a new segment coming up after the break until we announce that there isn't going to be one. But I thought they said they were. Shut up. Not no more. All accurate. Yep. Stay tuned. <sighs> oh, yeah, no. We're, we're, we're going to keep on the market on the marketing blitz until they announce, until we decide that we're not going to support this anymore. Can you okay. imagine, like, getting, like, especially, like, Ryan and Tom, like, getting yeah. the fucking emails, like, so. <laughs> you guys went to, like, Canada and all over the map in the U.S. We're going to cancel that. They, they did that. <laughs> then you're going to see, like, Ryan doing these, like, this eagle semen hyphenated. I need to know. This is for a business email. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, vote.linuxgamecast.com is where you can vote on show titles. You see people bang-assing things as well as they're doing, because that could very well end up being what we call episode 519. And one away. Ch- one away from 10 years. <laughs> 520 blaze it. 520 blaze it. After show. Wait, <laughs> no. Middle show. There we go. All right, let me see. What do we have? Do we have anything good? Not much. No. Uh Enough about that. <laughs> you know what? We can make that C man. C man. Yeah. It's C man. Nudie mods. All right. Yeah, I, when when I was started talking about soft body physics, the only thing that came into my mind was the the penis, like the soft body penis ring, <laughs> with like with like the really long one at the end. <laughs> well. That's what we're going to talk about. Can ARC survive Intel being Intel? Which we brought up as a concern as it was initially announced. Right. Mm, that is not NVIDIA. Not AMD. This isn't the biggest challenge to ARC. At all. No. <laughs> it's Intel. Just release it, Intel. Come on. <laughs> well, 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 we'll talk about why that's probably not happening. Or is it? Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this is all an elaborate troll. Intel's gonna come out with like the the arc stuff, and it's gonna like completely curb stomp Intel and in, or uh, Nvidia and AMD shit. I don't know. I saw the um, like psych motherfucker. Yeah, no. What was uh, Steve from the uh, Gamer Nexus? He was having like an internal debate with himself about having a clickbait headline on a YouTube video. It's like, I had to do it, guys, but you knew what it was. And it's like, I went back and changed it. It's like, I went back and changed it back. It's my right to do it. I'm like, all right, chill, man. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do a uh, Intel arc confirmed, canceled, or something. Or is it? Question mark. Talk about <laughs> show titles. Didn't Linus do that on his show? Well, Probably, sure. <laughs> like that would be a given. That's too easy. <laughs> I think I saw someone in Discord, our Discord, saying, "What's this Linus thing uh, titled um, Intel Arc canceled?" Mm. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> That's one of the issues with Intel. Intel is a large enough corporation to where teams can have fuck all idea. The others exist. Microsoft's the same way. Yes. Once you reach a, a certain size with tens of thousands of employees, these things happen. We don't think about them. Yeah. Eventually, some, sometimes you get an IBM situation where they're like, okay, this organization has kind of gotten a little too swollen. We're going to sell you. <laughs> That's what they did with the mainframe shit. Like, yep. I mean, and uh, the th- the ThinkPads. <laughs> yep. Hello, how you doing? Yeah. 
Don't don't worry. We'll stop you from booting Linux on these things by not accepting. And we'll uh, load active adware and malware onto our UEFI that automatically installs that shit as soon as you load oh, up you, Windows. Uh, you, you pretend that HP doesn't do that shit or Dell doesn't do that shit either. Come on. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they only did it on the low end The models, Lenovo right? thing got exposed as Here's it the did. Thing. Here's there the thing was the a Lenovo. lot of looking. <laughs> Lenovo knew it was crooked as hell. They only did it on their super cheap ones that weren't their enterprise customers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was they the knew that shit was shady as fuck. <laughs> yeah. There was someone else doing it uh, last week or the week before. There were oh. a couple other companies that were caught uh, basically loading. I'm going to ask a dumb question. What was the name <laughs> of that show on the Sci-Fi channel that was about a big warehouse? Was it just Where, called Warehouse? Warehouse 13. Okay. All right. It's as riveting as you think. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just like another Monster of the Week sci-fi show. I I, I, I never I never watched it. You you any of you watch Eureka? I just watched the even... first two episodes and then I said, eh, no. <laughs> it was it was it was all right. What was it made of? It it was like sheriff moves to like the weird town. The the science the super town. scientists slip. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. But that that's literally what it was like. Dumb sheriff goes to take over science town. Oh, the, no. yeah, uh, trying to enforce the law in like super technologically advanced sciency town where like ATATs uh, roam the streets. <laughs> oh yeah, there, there, there was also yeah, there, there was also that other Amanda Tapping show where she was like Doctor Helen Magnus. Okay, was that the one where they were trying to do like ninety eight percent green screen in the text? Yeah, just wasn't the there. sanctuary, sanctuary. Okay. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I tried to watch a little bit of that, and I'm like, I visually, I couldn't get over it. Oh no! It was, it was, it was, they they made that super cheap because they're like, "Sorry, Amanda, we 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 stopped Stargate. Do you want you want to try making your own show? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll give you five dollars here. Good luck. <laughs> There's your budget. <laughs> yeah. Friday. I don't know, man. Like horror movies don't work anymore for me at all. Too much thought, about production. I, I know," said Yodavan. I, th I I I thought I thought the Quiet Place was actually pretty effective because it it you sound very well. Yeah, or the lack of thereof. Yeah, yeah. Like I, 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 I the Quiet Place was good. I, I actually liked that one's tense. I'm a little yeah. bit curious about Nope. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Nope. Nope looks pretty good, but not um, enough to go to the theater to see it. Might go see that tomorrow. Where it's, it's a toss up between the new Thor or Nope. I, I, I guess it's see like, Thor. If that was my choice, me being me, even. I mean, I mean, they they both look like good options, but yeah. Uh, I, I think probably Thor lends itself better because it's a Marvel movie to like the big screen experience, versus like Nope will probably just be as good if I watch it on my couch. Spectacle. Yeah. yeah. No, but that's what I expect out of my Thor movies. It was all right. We'll, like, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. The last one caught me and a lot of other people off guard because... The like, complete left turn from yeah everything yeah, they the had first, done previously. The first one, they skipped a second. Why did it go straight to three? But um, You know what? The, the second one wasn't bad. I went back and rewatched that uh, like last the, year. I'm like, it's all right for what it yeah, is. I think my big gripe with the second one is like nothing really happens and like... They kind of wasted Christopher Eccleston, right? Like, yeah. could, like Mal, like that's the thing. They they made him just like a generic bad guy. Malekith in the comics is always like scheming, and he's like, "Oh fuck, I don't want to fight Thor. He's gonna whoop my ass. I gotta like have some <laughs> sort of some plan to deal with this shit." And yeah, they just they just turned him into pale Doctor. Not even Doctor Who. He's the guy from Con in sixty seconds. Mm. Yeah, bad guy in heavy makeup. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They need a we we need a uh, like bad guy face off in the MCU between um, Nicolas Cage and um, what's his name Jurassic Park uh, Goldblum 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 versus Cage. I want I want to see a shot for shot remake of Face Off 
but with Nicolas Cage and Jeff Goldblum instead of Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Oh, but that movie was so dumb. <laughs> Nicolas Cage is in something coming up. I mean, that's just a generally true statement, right? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if it was Marvel or DC related, but he's in something. I think he's he's in uh, the Super Pets movie, right? Nicholas Cage. Uh, list of Nicholas Cage movies. All right, hold on. It's its own Wikipedia page. <laughs> Se separate from the uh, separate from from the regular Nicholas Cage article. Okay. Um, oh, he's playing Count Dracula in, uh, in yeah. Renfield. That, oh, that'll be interesting. I did not know this. Um, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 was released 24 years ago. Oh, I thought you were going to say Nicolas Cage is playing Jazz Jack <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> Why not? The... <laughs> oh, I would, that's I would problematic, that... right? You're I like... would watch that movie. <laughs> um, right? <laughs> Yeah, I would. I uh, th they they announced a while ago they have Christopher Walken playing the Emperor of the Universe in the in Dune too. That's that's not what I would expect, but I'm really interested to see what that looks like. All right, because it's it's like it's a Christopher Walken performance, so like you don't fucking know. It could be like goofy as shit, or it could be really serious. Right, they might want to take a watch out of his ass. Yeah, but I, yeah, so Paul, I held this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass while I was digested by a sandworm, and now I'm giving it to you. I want to see like I the, um, the death of your father, Harkonnens, and uh, the other motherfuckers like slap fighting in the desert, and just like Warhammer motherfuckers drop out of orbit with some chainsaws. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, war. I think I think the Dune like the 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 uh, the 2020 Dune movie 2021 Dune movie is probably the best live action Warhammer movie we're gonna get because Warhammer stole all their good shit from Dune. Mm. I'm going to the only thing I learned from the live action the modern Dune movie is like I'm not watching the second one until the third one's available too. <laughs> oh man, I I hope they do Heretics. Or mm. not heretics. Um, uh, Dune, Dune, um, Dune. Her yeah, Dune Messiah. That's what it was. Messiah is the third book. Cause I wouldn't. I don't know if. I, yeah, I went through uh, all of the uh, original Dune series book wise, and uh, I even got into his like sons. I guess that was his son. Yeah, his his son and uh, another author. Like with the synchronized world, and I'm like, yep. eh, I'm down. That'd be interesting because uh, you deal with like spider robots with brains in them, human brains running around fucking things up. And I'm like, all right, all right. Get behind this. But, I mean, yeah, Christopher Walken, I'm down with it. See, oh man, I, I, I hope they, I hope they get to Chapter House. I hope, I, I, part of me really wants to see them, like, at least try to do a God Emperor of Dune. But there's, yeah, there's several more movies they need to make to get to that point. Because, you know, chil Children of Dune is like a huge fucking story in and of itself. Like, uh, like the, the, the miniseries, this old sci-fi miniseries was good. Yeah. With, if uh, we get James like full on, uh, neck emperor. Yeah. Or worm emperor, I guess. you know. Yeah. Wor worm boy. Mm -hmm. It's, we ran out of budget. So we, we put Timothy Chalamet in a sleeping bag. Nah, dude, it's just a, a, a mobile shot. Of like an inchworm crawling yeah. around. No, I'm like yeah, 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 yeah. It's like old Ray Harryhausen style, mm -hmm. like superimposed. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see Christopher Walken play Krang in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> but it's you damn turtles, it, get back here! It is with makeup. They got a face yeah. cut out of the prop. <laughs> yep, it's just pink paint. Yeah, this is. It's me. Yeah. I'm, I'm crying. Let's do it. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Anyone need to get up, get a drink? I'll grab a drink. I'm okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to urinate. I'll be back. All right. Welcome back to the Pedro Show, starring Pedro. No. He's going to say something really inappropriate. Let's not go with that. Um... 
What was that movie called where, um... Ah, god damn it, it's stuck in my head. Oh, where Christopher Walken played Archangel Gabriel, if I'm not mistaken. It had biblical influences. Prophecy movies? Let's see. Uh, um, Gabriel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's still embarrassed about the first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, no, I I was asking because I saw that gif of the uh, of the walk and the sending the kiss with just the one finger. It's like, okay, that's him playing the Archangel Gabriel, but I can't remember the name of the movie. Prophecy. <laughs> there, there's, there's a great movie where Christopher Walken orders breakfast, and it is the most entr entrancing thing ever. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like playing, he's playing death, and he's at like a diner, and he's like two eggs scrambled over easy or whatever. Hosts. Well. I do. I do like how for a while he had. He was just posting cooking videos on YouTube. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's just, Christopher Walken is like, I'm gonna teach you how to make chicken with pears. It's delicious. I, I, this was like right when YouTube was like starting to become a thing, and I, I remember I remember watching this. I was like, "This is amazing!" I I just want to watch Christopher Walken cook, cook chickens. Uh, no, I, I gotta rewatch the prophecy movies then. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> oh. I kind of don't want to interrupt the silence off you two are having. <laughs> uh, we we were just talking about the walk-in. Yep. <laughs> just think, it could have been Christopher Hoppin. <laughs> what, about, what about Christopher running? Eh, too mainstream, man. Everybody runs these days. What, what, what about Christopher Hoverin? All right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, we, we've all seen the flat, the fat boy slim video where we have Christopher flying yes. <laughs> and Christopher dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher fuck gravity. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, gravity has always been optional for Christopher Walken. <laughs> he just walks around, uh, walks around like a normal person just so that we don't get weirded out purely for our benefit. But none of that was planned for the video. He just showed up on. Yeah. Set and he's like, watch this. Well, what's what's weird is like you look into his background and like yeah, he was a dancer for like ten years or some shit. We just need more Christopher Walken and stuff. That guy's great. Did you guys watch uh, Seven Psychopaths? No, that was a good one. I think it's on. It's, I think it's on Amazon Prime. All right, I will investigate the. Uh... Blurb. The blurb. All right. Let's bring it. Let's get underway. Let's light this up and talk about 
clickbait intel rumors. Like, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Well, hold, hold, hold on. Do we need to have, like, the clickbait, like, title card? Do we need to do, like, the, oh. <laughs> yeah. The sad thing is that will get more views. That, yeah. That, that, that's, 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 what, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm kind of half joking with this. We did that. One time is like, everyone make your headache face. And I did that. And I think it was like 20, 23 <laughs> percent. It's 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 like it's like Silver Age comics where like they just kept they kept putting monkeys on the covers because people just love monkeys. They will just buy shit with monkeys in them. The YouTube algorithm is sentient and it is having a fucking laugh at tricking uh, yeah. humanity into doing headache face. It thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, let's get underway. You ready, Pedro Mateus? Call response. Hey, are you ready? <laughs> well, see, see, usually, usually when it's me, it's like, oh fuck, Reddit. Uh, what's, what's, your, what's, your, what's your excuse? You just, you just space out. I, I was looking at the bunny that Linux Nerve posted. <laughs> you can't get hungry this late. It was less about the hungry and more. Well, it's not a squirrel; it's a bunny, but close enough. All right. <laughs> it's, it's not soup recipe. What are you talking about? Mm, delicious. <laughs> In three, two, and yes, we just learned what it takes to uh, distract me. A picture of a bunny. That that'll not do. Much. <laughs> well, it'll distract me just uh, long enough. Everyone, pay close that attention. Everyone can ask one... me a question, and I'll go what. One day save your life if you're ever being tacked by a Pedro Mateus. Pull up, have a bunny picture ready in Google there Photos. More bunnies. I, I, I yeah. approve of the bunnies. I, I don't even care. So, so someone smash cut in the edit to to the the Monty Python scene where the rabbit just attacks the dude and bites that off. Please, no, no horrible beasts, just bunnies. If, if you if you would like to see Pedro's head separated from his shoulders by a rabbit, head on over to Patreon.com/slash Linux Gamecast, where you can fund our genetic engineering research to create killer rabbits that thirst for human blood um we get some other cool stuff by signing up to our patreon as well like access to our discord research channel. sounds so much better than torture dungeon but yes shut yeah. up shut up if it, if it works for elon it can it's work for us group. damn it <laughs> yeah so, neuralink may baby or may not test lab coats on rabbits i'm not indeed uh but yeah uh patreon gets you some cool stuff access to our discord channel which you can use to rsvp to game streams that we do uh, i've been we've been doing a little back for blood on thursdays ven and i if you want to join us at, like katana did and just completely okay. carry us through an entire yeah, level yeah, because... i was about to say don't bury the fact that we we have an innate ability to suck at something so bad <laughs> like you know what fine fine i'll fucking play if you guys will just Get your shit together. Yes. Yeah, so, 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 someone stop their work to fucking jump into games. Because <laughs> so it's, it's like, this is just painful to watch. So if you want to be that person, uh, yeah, get, get, into our, uh, get into our Discord. You can also get into it uh, via subbing to us on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, ben does uh, Trackmania on Tuesdays and Thursdays, if, or Tuesdays and Fridays, rather, if you want to join in for that. Plus, you know, we got that free, free super shows and that extra hour of Linux gaming content where Ven and I have very important meetings about the future of the podcast, then yeah. don't include Pedro about it, or don't involve Pedro. It's true. Um, there, there, you wanna, there's a lot of that. I mean, if, Pedro if gets you, the same email, but the chances of Pedro reading it, mm, yeah. very few. <laughs> Unless it's a work email, I mm, very, very low. But pretty but, hey. much got to put a buddy picture at the top, and then I yep. lose him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, send, send, send Pedro a message on Patreon, then he'll definitely have to read it. Uh, we got a store as well, store.linuxgamecast.com. Go buy some merch. You can get some stickers, uh, although you can get some special LGC stickers if you're heading down to scale this weekend. I think you got to check the yes. Lutris booth or the Linux <laughs> Chicks booth, and you can go talk to Jill or Strider, and I don't know, they'll... Jill, Jill, Jill will laugh at you in her giggly voice, and Strider will demand that you feed him tacos. Um, <laughs> yeah, Strider will go. I'm hungry. Give me things. He's, he's such a, he's such a hungry boy. It, it was interesting watching him in Discord because that went from like, I need food. I'm like, son, are you not going to go get something to eat? Or are you going to sit there and starve? I'm like, still well, hungry. 
<laughs> well, yeah, because the last couple of times he had, he had empty and myself to go fetch him tacos. Mm-hmm. He's not homeboy's on his own anymore. Or homeboy's on his own now. So, uh, yeah, uh, we got a wish list as well. If you head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, put your mouse over the buttons, uh, the support buttons. Uh, I have one. Ven has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. You can buy stuff for us. You can send us notes along with them and we'll have to read them on the air. If you send Ven some stuff, you can get your name in lights. Or at least neon phosphorescent light uh, markers behind his head. It's very shiny. Uh, uh, Pedro, you got something off of not an Amazon wish list, but a Steam wish list? Or just not did, even did, that. Did just, it was just you know? a random game that Arthur and decided, you know what? You need this in your life. It's Hobo Cat Adventures. Uh, it's one of those janky uh, collect a thon type of games. Uh, which I'm not entirely opposed to because the jank was kind of the reason that I was curious about it. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, Arthur. Uh, Hobo Cat Adventures. That's <laughs> I, I genuinely feel that pales in comparison. The one thing I was again, I got to work out this time thing. I might even do it on Sunday. There's already a Doom mod with a cat. Yeah, no. the <laughs> stray, so, so stray is a cultural my, phenomena. <laughs> my 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 question though is: Is it the adventures of a hobo cat, or is it a hobo going on a cat adventure? No, it's Depends a hobo, on the hobo cat. and how it, much, it's a uh, really uh, raggedy looking cat okay. that okay. goes around right. doing um, non sexual favors to other animals. Yes, <laughs> I'm 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 thankful you specified that, Pedro. Yes. I really am. It's a uh, like breaking cat. <laughs> kind of. No, that, 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 but the like cat bro- is the bro- one doing math. <laughs> bro- broke cat mountain. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna jump <laughs> off this bridge before I get myself in more trouble. Let's talk. About unsubstantiated rumors. Uh, Intel Arc. Uh, Intel it's is dead. considering. Yep, it's completely uh, canceled. Completely 100%. dead. Never going to happen. Considering <laughs> canceling of Arc desktop graphics, da- uh, data center GPUs being prioritized. So saith the report. So this all comes from uh, a YouTube video. We'll put links to the, all that in the show notes. Uh, by a name's Moore's Law is not dead. And he has this 20 minute long uh, video talking about uh, the background of Arc, the communication uh, that the add in board partners have been. Uh, you know, r- relaying to us uh, stuff that we've heard from Tom and Ryan and so on. And it looks like, uh, it looks like uh, Arc isn't doing so good. Uh, Alchemist is having some problems and they're looking at potentially canceling Battle Mage. Definitely, or, or I think more, more along the lines of canceling Celestial once they get to that. Um, but uh, Moore's Law uh, is not dead. His video speculates that uh, it's the schedule. There's a hardware problem uh, that the uh, Intel guys have been trying to solve with drivers. Uh, the issues seem to pop up uh, based on what we're hearing uh, when games are hitting above 90 frames a second at any resolution. Uh, things start becoming a problem. Uh, and apparently Battle Mage is also getting some uh, technical roadblocks um, that are similar to this. Uh, supposedly, uh, and again, this is this, this, there's a lot of weasel words here because, you know, we have no confirmed <laughs> sources. Uh, supposedly, there's going to be a retape of Alchemist, though. They're aiming for a refresh at 2023. Um, I, I, I don't know. But the, 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 the real scummy thing is they're like they're saying uh, that Intel marketing is going to keep promoting ARC up until the cancellation is actually announced. So we're, we're not going to know until it's dead. Now, again, we're going to be covering this. Uh, we have to because I think like you at home, like. Player number three, we got to keep an eye on this. Normally, we wouldn't care about, but you might think this is crazy because Intel spent all this time and money and it's PR, and they've been doing the silicon and all that, and it's just wild and crazy, unsubstantiated rumors, which could be true. One thing I will say, that kid um, from Moore's Law is dead. Tor- normally, I wouldn't even give that a second look, but this dude is going to get sued for fucking liable if he can't back this up. More than likely, I'm not sure how that works in the states, but. Would Intel kill something like this? You might remember a little thing I like to call this very weak Intel kill Loptane crosspoint. One of the coolest things that they wanted to lock into their own ecosystem. And Lenovo was even advertising the DAOS stuff a week ago. So they just found out too. That's how Intel rolls, kids. Now, you know what? Uh, They were saying we're going to be rolling out our cards like and building it up, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm really excited. What What do you think F was supposed to be? Fuck you all. <laughs> Fraggle. Age, Fraggle. Well, it, it, the, yeah. the, the legendary sword. <laughs> but uh, yeah, apparently there are high level discussions going on regor- regarding the cancellation of dedicated desktop arc 
cards, which the thing that worried me was the AIB partners, the people, you know, your EVGAs and gigabytes. Uh, they have fuck all idea what's going on too. That's the, the, the quote, the quote that got me was we are trying to ride out this generation with bur- while burning as few bridges as possible, which <laughs> that's we're in active damage control mode guys. I mean, according to what's been put out there, the AIBs yeah. were promised silicon like mm-hmm. in July, and uh, we're about out of July, lads. Yeah, Just- it's the thirty first here. <laughs> yeah, it's so over. it's yeah. No, I'd really like to. I'd really like Intel to release the cards. I would, like everyone else. It's like player three, come on. But uh, the earlier reviews of the one AIB, the Chinese uh, Gunier. The they yeah, were the, the only ones that actually yeah that actually got uh, the A 380s so uh, and that card was basically uh, the hardware AV one encoder because for games it wasn't doing terribly good and as it turns out the issues seem to run deeper like Jordan was mentioning it's it's a hardware thing is <laughs> can't really get around it with just drivers so I honestly I don't think it's canceled because. It's Intel. They can afford to take a bit of a hit. But then again, I can also see Intel going, well, well uh, we're Intel and we're releasing a thing. So it has to be massively popular. And if it's not, eh, fuck it. Well, a, a, lot, a lot of this is coming on the tails of Intel having a less than stellar first quarter. So I think they're looking for ways to like, you know, here's how we can appear profitable by just axing a bunch and of stuff. AMD overtaking them in market cap. And that but there were a lot of people at Intel that didn't like that. that. <laughs> that's something we got to throw down. Uh, one of our patrons, Tom, um, like on that related time, yeah. and threw in. And yeah, that was, this is not the first time. It was the second time this has happened with AMD. They've overtaken with that. But that's not necessarily a sign of how bad Intel's doing. It, it's just letting everybody know AMD's no longer on life support like they were at the end of Bulldozer where they were throwing the Hail Mary. That was the um, Ryzen architecture. No. Yes. Here's the thing. Now, to me, I this just genuinely sounds like AMD's got a bunch of bad silicon that they thought they could fix with software. Or That's what it is. And they just need more runway to do it. But here's the problem. I mean, Raja came out, I think yesterday, maybe the day before, he said, we're very much committed to our roadmap. We're ramping Alchemist. We'll continue to improve experience. AXG, also on track, ramp four new products into the year. Sounds good, but didn't yeah. address anything that's been thrown out there that worries me a little bit because uh here's the problem brad everyone including your aab partners like even us on analytics gaming podcast we know something's up we something is amiss like that timeline's been shifted around two times three times and uh i I thought intel brought on people like ryan shroud and tom from formerly nvidia to like de intel this communication breakdown and with like marketing and just public relations and stuff like that, which I have to assume both Ryan and Tom know what's going on and they're vibrating like, ah, come on, let's try to fix this. And we said from either one, let us tell them what's going on or right. fix it. Come communication. on. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, Ryan said, you know, they had to fight to be able to get out and do that tour that they didn't want two weeks ago. And, you know, I said right at the beginning, not I'm not trying to be no Stradamus or anything. It was obvious. The, the biggest threat Intel Arc faced from day one was Intel being Intel mm-hmm. and doing things Intel way because they have no. And we, we've seen, and you know, back to the AMD thing, we've seen that what Intel became after a decade of market dominance in the CPU space. Like they, yeah. they don't <laughs> understand. It would appear that they lack the understanding and ability to communicate as a company in competition with somebody else there's really seems like they're still operating like fuck you pay us you don't <laughs> we're have the option biggest, b yeah right. we're the biggest yeah. fish in the pond and we have I, no I, competition i well, I, 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 no I think more. that I think that also reflects in like sort of how they're handling this. If Arc is underperforming, yeah, they're, they're not going to, they're very reticent to be like, hey, here's our new video card offering. It's great, you guys. You know, we'll fix the shit in the next generation. This is our first thing. And those like, no, we have to do it perfectly the first time. And it's just not going to fucking happen. That's <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah. Even yeah. Ryzen wasn't like that because the first generation Ryzen, it wasn't great. It was much better than the Bulldozer, audio that but- you're listening to right now was being run through a Ryzen 1700 that was released. With the math spot. 
Yeah. Which this one's still, this one's this one's worth more. I'm gonna put it in my collection. <laughs> well, yeah, no, Gosh. the first generation uh, compared to the Intel processors that were out at the time wasn't very good. It was a lot better than Bulldozer, but it still wasn't very good. But it was just good enough that it was competitive. That's all Intel needs to hit for their GPUs. Yeah, competitiveness. They, they, they need to prove that they can get in that sort of performance envelope. Yeah, and. And then, you know, you can you can make a case. You can say you can be like, well, hey, we have a bunch of these multimedia features that other other cards don't where our performance isn't as great. But hey, for creators, this is good. Um, but you got to also understand, like you never live down that first impression. Yeah. No, ever. <laughs> well, they, well, <laughs> well, you, you, they, you know, it's great they, for a first impression. They it's just, don't go, go ahead. I was going to say, you know, it's great for a first impression is just not telling, outright uh, lying via omission to people, right? Like, so uh, I don't know. Is it, I mean, they've even downplayed, you know, they've made a very concerted effort to let everyone know these are the baby arcs. These are baby steps. Don't expect a lot from them. And, you know, even to the point of like not even acknowledging the existence when they were doing the PR tour about what was it? The three, the Chinese, China only one. Yeah. The, the, Gunier, uh, the, the A380. 380. Yeah. The 380. Yeah. Airbus 380. They were like, nope, we're not going to address that. Let's just show off this one card. So I Yeah, no, the 750 and then saying, oh, the 770 is going to be even better. Uh, okay, you need to release something first. Yeah. We don't, it's, I don't it's, think it's anybody all, it's all, okay. wants to believe it, but I don't think between the three of us and all, everyone at home, if Intel did come out, which I don't think they are. Really, I don't. I think they're going to stick with it. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be rough. And they're going to learn some things, hopefully, as a company with how to yeah approach this properly but again if tomorrow raj comes out or someone's like yeah we're gonna kill consumer cards because they made a point in the earnings call or meeting or whatever it was like that we're keeping the server side stuff yeah compute oh i don't know i want to believe i want my av1 hardware encoding intel i want to give you money i'm one of the few people who are like i don't give a fuck how it plays games <laughs> i'll probably never plug a monitor into it a lot of people are very curious about the AV1 encoding. It's just, yeah, give people a chance to buy the damn things. <laughs> and I know um, more than one person on the uh, OBS team is like, fucking come. Like, really? Release these. Let's talk about releasing source code and why it's a good idea. Yeah. Limit theory. Does that name ring a bell? No. No. Oh. <laughs> it did with me because it was a successfully kickstarted way back in 2012 were we doing the show in 2012 we were yeah huh <laughs> pedro could you google limit theory and see if we talk about it <laughs> i uh i was only watching at the time because i only joined in 2013 we but were the first prototype was released in 2013 yeah. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> there is a non-zero higher than non-zero chance uh yeah and it was successfully funded in, I think, like $180,000, which was decent at the time. But the guy developing it ran out of financing in 2018. And he said, hey, I'm going to open source the code, which is always good to see. I must, I would love it if Kickstarter and Indiegogo like made that a like legal, somehow legally binding requirement for any game development or software for that matter. Like if you eventually fuck off. You have to really, you know, show your work to, or or, or even like it. hardware or shit, right? Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That that would, that would be great. <laughs> it's never going to happen, but you know, we could. No. Here is the code, though. At long last, it's time for the source code release that I promised years ago. Today, I'll be releasing four open source repositories on GitHub, representing three different times in LT's development history. So, including the prototype that came out, and uh, of course, we have the libraries and just the engine itself. Oh, good. I'm happy to see this. And I just Googled, and even with site LinuxGameCast.com, uh, no. No. <laughs> there was no All coverage right. of limit theory. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I, I mean, and and here and here's the thing. Maybe something will come out of this code eventually. The guy, I, I, I read through the guy's write-up of the code, and he says that, like, he, he did his best to clean up a bunch of it. Um, the, I think, what was Babylon it? Babylon and a huge Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a Star Fury. Uh, but the, uh, he uh, he was saying that like uh, there, there's a there's a vertical slice that's more or less developed that is the closest to feature complete that the game is going to get in terms of stuff implemented. Um, 
I don't know if we'll, we'll see maybe if any of the former uh, backers are willing to take a stab at it, at least. And at the very least, it can stand as an example of how not to develop a game. Because the guy said, like, yeah, I, I expected I would have a bunch of time to create all this stuff. So I created a bunch uh-huh. of placeholder assets and I, I put a bunch of shit that I'd solve later. And I guess none of that is in the code base. I think time and time again, uh, yeah. learn by example of if you're going to do your own game, step one, don't write your own fucking engine. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe when you're working on your fifth or sixth game, start thinking about maybe doing a custom engine. But unless you're going to do something really limited in scope, you want to do the thing that most indies should be doing, which is you have this one gimmick, one mechanic that you really want to explore. Screw everything else. Okay, maybe build a very simple engine around that thing that you want to do. Otherwise, yeah. Unity is there for now. Unreal is there. Game Maker Studio. Game I Maker mean, Studio. Godot. Godot's my, free. There my you. advice is somebody you should definitely listen to is somebody who's never released a game and can <laughs> barely, barely code his way out of a wet paper sock. Don't ask. Long story. Is, uh, yeah, make sure you can, if you can't do it on like one of the, well, the big two, try Godot. Try that. Godot, try yeah. Game Maker. Get in my there. Game. Then maybe, uh, yeah, don't, don't burn Kickstarter money on, uh, you Re- reverse engineer the wheel. Yeah. I mean, people in the game, they don't want you to sit around and come up with a new engine. Pro tip. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you feel differently. I don't know. And like eight years later, you'll release the sword. No. Stainless. Mm-hmm. Nah, they, they keep driving. They, 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 they do penguins. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Stainless was like, hey, step one million. I think I tallied up all the additional it was like three million dollars let's build our own engine again that game still runs like ass yes even on windows yeah <laughs> guess what happens when you had built an engine in two decades yeah Pedro, that's the same thing Pedro. that happens when you try to make a new video card i guess no no what happens when you go <laughs> well uh straight released recently so there's bound to be a lot of cat people that go what <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, the uh, PPSSPP uh, emulator, the PSP emulator, uh, if you were unaware, which I'm pretty sure anyone on the internet who's into emulators knows what PPSSPP is, but there's a new version out, version uh, 113.1. They, it's basically a smaller fix. They've improved the um, Portuguese, standard Portuguese translation, which... Could have could have used it uh, many years ago. Last time I tried, it was worse than the Brazilian Portuguese option, and that's saying something. Uh, and uh, I actually do need to update the um, version of PPS SPP that I have installed on a Pi Boy because the last few updates, the game that I was actively playing on it, which was uh, Dungeon Siege: Throne of Agony, very fun game. Uh, it, it made it basically completely unplayable because it completely distorts and stretches the character models and the performance tanks as a result. So you can't play at it anymore. And even if you could, you probably wouldn't want to with the characters looking like that. So uh, it's good to see. Very, very good to see, especially since, um, you know, the deck is a thing and uh, a lot of people very much uh, like to play emulated games, including PSP games on them. So, yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> Throne of Agony is what I call Strider's Toilet after I'm done with it. I don't know. I'm going to call this. I had to go to Google Image to find some damn pictures of your emulator. Come on. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it looks like a PSP game, right? I don't know. I want to know what the interface looks like. Yeah, uh, it is. It, it, the, that blue one is the settings, and you see like the landing pages. Um, that one right next to it, also blue. <laughs> a lot of blue. And look, this one comes with a red arrow. Yes. So, <laughs> there you go. Not, not a red circle. Thumbnail. Now I have Jeez. a green arrow. How much would you pay? <laughs> I, I, well, you gotta have the. You need to have like the blue arrow NFT, right? If you want to have the arrow in your PSVP game, right? Like, right. Uh, unvanquished man. We've interesting we've relationship been covering we've that had for about ten game. years. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, right? but, um, <laughs> that that was uh, one of the early games that we got on Linux uh, through Steam, which had uh, I believe that was the one that, that wait was that the one that Spite noped? So did you uh, fire to shot? No, was uh, that, that, that was, was natural um, selection. Killing wasn't ah, no, it selection. was natural f- selection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other one based around the uh, 
But Unvanquished has been around for a long time, and it's an open source game. Fun to play. And maybe it's still got a couple of new uh, and very old issues, but they're working on fixing it. Just not this week, because there's bigger problems. And um, we're talking about a very sharp Unvanquished, because I was reading through this. They, they've made everything sharper. They're, they're working on the UI. And the first comment on this kind of hit home a little bit because they, they said, well, all the issues with this game that are still around. You focused on this? Really? This is, this is where you draw the line? Apply. <laughs> you yeah. know what? But look <laughs> at that. Low-hanging fruit. Look at that. You can't, you can't put a price on, like, <laughs> if I wanted to make a YouTube thumbnail out of that, done. I don't have to do anything extra. That's kind of brilliant. And you know what? Any progress is progress. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, if 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 I were a software developer and I was like, oh, I can I can fix like the shooting logic, I can fix all the weapon balances, or I could just redo the menuing system. That seems like a lot easier time. I I'd probably do the menuing system, which uh, they moved to a new library, uh, RMUI. Uh, it's now using HTML, CSS, and Lua. Okay, yes. sure. <laughs> um, app- apparently, that uh, the that, that engine like doesn't this have like opportunity to say fuck Lua. But, yeah. yeah, as you were. Yeah, yeah. So, I, mean, I mean, like usually, usually HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But like, mm-hmm. sure, th- throw Lou in there. Why not? Two easy steps and one that'll make Vin go. I don't. I'm too dumb for this thing, but I'm going <laughs> to use it anyway. Yeah, the uh, this actual uh, post is just a little bit of a heads up on what's coming uh, for the next post that they're saying is probably going to be next month, which is actually going to be the new release. Mm-hmm. And uh, look at the kitty cat. Yeah, uh, the, that first comment uh, that <laughs> was like, yeah, the game is unbalanced as shit. Are you going to do anything about that? Two of the developers came back. He's like, look, we're a small indie team. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> but we're going to try and fix it, okay? <laughs> it is, the, a Nightwish is, oh, uh, it's open source, right? It is yes. now. It was originally a commercial project, I do believe. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, yeah. So if you know what, if you are someone <laughs> who that wants might have to. Been the one that Spike crashed. No, uh, na- uh, natural that selection was, got voice. Uh, yeah. Be- be- that, got yeah. community. Um, they released yeah, yeah. it for the community. Yes. Yeah. I'm just they, giving they, everyone they a fair warning. Um, yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, we got to get it right. Somebody could be wrong on the internet. That, we can't yeah, let no, that happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Unvanquished what is, about the past is open source. 30 yeah. minutes. <laughs> that was practice. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what are you talking about? We don't what? You, you, you just here. can't walk out and be as wrong as I am right now without a little warm up. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. That's the thing. Uh, if you like sharpness and you're unvanquished, you can ask. And it's always good to bring up these projects because there are people like even um, I finally wa- remember what game it was because I saw him when I got home. Uh, what's his uh, Billzoid? He plays Cube. That's his game. That's what he plays. And it's like him and 15 other people that still play Cube. So you got games like this with a community and they're there and I'm sure they appreciate anything that gets updated with it, right? Maybe. Maybe. Some, or sometimes they'll just complain in the comments. Coming up next, how how is Babby form? We go into Vagante and get Pregante. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Every time I see the game's title, I just think v- Vagante. <laughs> Vagrant. <laughs> nope. Just Vangate. call it Vagrant. <laughs> Van Gate. Call it by its Christian's name. It's, it's vagina, vagina, the game. <laughs> vagina Spunkers. I was looking uh, when I was trying to find out, okay, which engine does this use? I typed into um, Google. It's like, Vagrant Engine. <laughs> and Google autocorrected it. Do you mean um, Vagrant Engine? <laughs> are, are you trying to run your game engine through the Vagrant debugger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, that's Valgrind. Vagrant is something. Vagrant is the virtual machine manager. Yeah. Sure. Yes. I got a wire across. <laughs> Val, 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 Valgrind is the uh, is the memory. Graphics analyzer. debugger. Yes. <laughs> oh. GDB. Oh, man. <laughs> the new debugger. <laughs> the fact that I even know how to use GDB is a testament to me being angry at the software. File, the file, run. Hey, that's where it's crashing. Cool. <laughs> yeah, th- th- that's always fun. I've I've given a couple of those to Flibit. It's just like, yeah, here's a. 
but I, I guess that that's that's me having worked in software for a number of years. Whenever I complain about something on the internet, I'm like, and here's also the output and some screenshots. See, this is how I fucking roll into your house, your open source project or closed source project. I, my homework's done. You're not getting out of this with like, could you? Oh, yeah, here. But uh, I need you to go done that. Yeah, and eventually here, here. just like, I don't want to fuck with it. I'm like, that's a valid answer. I'm not happy about it, but we just saved each other a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah, here, here, here's the trace. Here's the GDB output. Uh, here's here's the command. Here's the, here's the terminal output. Uh, yeah, here. T- if you need any other shit, let, let me know. I'll, I'll run oh, some commands. Mean, man. I'm like, here it is, reproducible on AMD and Intel, Nvidia, AMD. Do it. Let's bring it. We got. Mm. <laughs> if you want an API trace, you're gonna have to wait a little bit because that's 300 or 400 megabytes of just frame raw frame data that I'm gonna yep. have to upload. So you wait a little bit for that. <laughs> I can zip it. It'll be about 50k. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I get I get familiar with GDB because I was fucking around with OBS. It's, it's one of those things where, like, have, having a working knowledge of it, just like having a working knowledge of VI, is ge- is generally going to save you a ton of that. Uh, well, I mean, heartbreak. I'm not a software developer, but I can fucking have a conversation with one. You know? Exactly, right? It's like, I don't, like, I if you asked me to write the code about how to do this, I couldn't tell you. But I can show you several examples of other people who have solved this problem, so clearly you can too. <laughs> it's not the like computer. I P, I'll be back. The I computer do all isn't the, free the magical box. Because if something is a bug that I can't put a point, I that that is a de- that's me admitting defeat when I have to show up. They're like I can't figure out how to make this work right, and I've exhausted everything. Like I'll do your QA for me. Hell. Oh, oh, oh. And I'll even have out your project right until I get a closed one fix. Then you're on your own, fuckos. Unless it's well documented, which that never happens. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just the the Autobot like this thread has been open for ninety days, and so I'm closing it. It's I'm like, not ah. above taking that shit to Twitter either, so. Fuck oh good that does. Like Jack and OBS required Mark N showing the fuck up and kicking that door in. Yeah. Basically. It works it works better with companies rather than open source projects, I find going on Twitter and blasting them. It depends. I mean when you're pulling in um I'll say OBS is a unique example because they pull in a couple of mil a year. I suppose that's true. Ugh. It's not like they're a mom and pop shop. Well, they have one full time developer. Okay. Which, like, much like the Debian project with its take in and its put out, like, somebody's got a bitching red Ferrari collection. I wouldn't even get. Do you like Ferraris? You don't even like cars, do you? You have no desire to drive a car. I don't think he does. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Where are you at with cars? Like, would you ever have a bitching red Ferrari collection? Or are you just like, I don't have any use for cars? Uh, I, 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 this is assuming I had, like, the space to store that stuff. Well, yeah, I'm sure you got a place to park on the street. No, because there's another person on the street with a car collection and he parked all his shit on the street. Not, Back not to the question, joking. though. Do you have any desire to drive? Not really, no. Not really? Like, not at all? Nope. I mean, like, I've like I've got behind a wheel of a car and operated it. Like, I did driving lessons. I just mm-hmm. never, like, finished my license because I didn't really feel the need to. Mm. Like, I, yeah. I, I some, some people, like, enjoy driving. I don't. Like, I, th- I, find, I find it very stressful having to pay attention to a lot of stuff at once. Um, yeah. It was interesting watching, um, Lewis. 
learn to drive. From Rossman Repairs. He just recently got about a year ago. He got a okay. driver's license. He bought a car. Like living in the city, as long as you're in a populated metropolitan area. Like me personally, I like I like just fucking off, getting out nowhere, and um, just checking things out, getting lost. Mm. Which you never technically lost these days, but Banks Global Positioning System. It requires me to stop, pull over, get the tablet out of the boot, and or hit. No, you had to get the tablet because set nav is bullshit in that car. Um, Denver's been too large, man. Like Denver went mainstream like a decade ago. The last dinosaur. Is okay. Hold on. I know this is e easily Googleable, but is John Denver actually from Denver? <laughs> I'm gonna just bank on no because that would be too um <laughs> too on the nose. Yeah, unless he's like part of the Denver clan. <laughs> I don't. Know. The, yes, of the original Denver's who the settled long the Denver line of Denver's. Denver's. Yeah. Yes, the Denver Dynasty. Yes, the founders of Denver. <laughs> <laughs> the Denovans. Okay, so. Denver isn't even his real name. It's Deutschendorf. <laughs> yeah, I would have went with Denver on that one. <laughs> and he was born in Roswell, New Mexico. Okay. Alien. Knew it. Henry John Deutschendorf Jr. A.K.A. John Denver. T.I.L. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. All this talk of Denver is like, is John Denver actually from Denver? Mm -hmm. this, uh, I, don't, I don't know. This is how my brain works. Yeah, the problem with like Colorado is like any place that pops, it's getting like Austin. Like you cannot afford to live in the city. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's getting a lot like that. <laughs> imagine um i don't know how bad london is these days <laughs> they were as, uh, as paying people been. like assisted living just like okay you live in london you get an extra 20 percent of your paycheck it basically is like no tax effectively just so that you can afford to pay rent in london yeah <laughs> So it was that bad, and there was talks that Cambridge might get that too. No word on um, <laughs> confirmation for that latter one, which is unfortunate. What's that? <laughs> sure, we'll do that again. <laughs> it's fun, burying again. <laughs> I hope I didn't. No, I probably didn't. Um. Uh... File. Aha! What? Good timing. <laughs> uh, where's that even? I need to put that in the group. There. No, I'll do that later because Obi has some spite crush because I've talked that ill of it. Yeah, I know it's that uh, it's that remote kill switch that they implemented in OBS <laughs> that uh, that lets any of the developers just kill your OBS session. <laughs> you're saying stuff they don't like. I don't know. Like a non insignificant part of OBS development goes on behind closed doors. <laughs> like you get like big chunky code updates. Like what? And that doesn't really affect anything, but it's always like a curiosity thing. All right, gentlemen, if I can bother you, uh, we will get into this.
It's weird navigating this hood without a ponytail. Oh, you don't have a ponytail? No, I'm not wearing, I don't have a ponytail right now. Oh. Yeah. Like, you could have told me, but like, yeah, I cut all my hair off. Like, huh. <laughs> How did we I, not notice? <laughs> I mean. I wouldn't. I'm dense as, you can't see that, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, yeah, with the hood on, sure. But. Even with that against the shirt. thank you for the, the follow. Mountain do. <laughs> oh man M- Shane. people always show up when we do this I'm like you know what it's not the worst part of the show in three two welcome back to the chairquisition where we take a game run on a bunch of different linux distributions running some pretty different hardware these days yeah. and then we rate it on a uh, scale of one to four launchers it's highly scientific it is divinely ordained by the chair gods how dare you question it? You're the weirdo, not us. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Vagante, uh, developed by Nuke9, done on a custom engine using C++ and SFML. You can pick it up for about 15 bucks US. And what is it? Vagante is Vagante. I don't know. How do you pronounce this? <laughs> is it <an> action? Vangate. <laughs> yeah. Vagina is... Vagina Spelunkers is an action-packed uh, platformer that features permanent death and procedurally generated levels. Play co-op cooperatively with friends locally or and online, or adventure solo in this challenging, roguelike-inspired game. Uh, we did not pay for this game. However, it was available as part of the Humble Stand with Ukraine bundle. Uh, yes, yeah, Slava Ukraine, you guys. Uh, and I guess uh, let's get into it. Pedro. Or I guess, no, it's Ven. Ven likes uh-huh. it. Ven. Yeah. Ah, you threw me for a He's loop, Ven. <laughs> Worlds, ladies and gentlemen, over here on Debian 11 on a 1920X powered with an NVIDIA 3060. It's that fun combination you've grown to love. When did in full screen make with a working right out of the box? You got to do these basic tests these days because you never really know. Starting a server, however, pretty much has a 50-50 chance at just spite noping the game right back to desktop found that out the fun way the solution to this is you probably guessed it tap that proton button fam works every time like 90 percent of the time now i do want to address this because the default keyboard layout was done by a serial killer that is my working theory on this because you will resort to button mashing the keyboard where you hand on keyboard roll smash and trying to reverse engineer that before you're going to figure out how it works and you know, it does work with a Steam controller, but only if you have your Steam controller out, you go find it, put batteries in the Steam controller because you've been using it as just a thing on your desk to look at for the past two years. Start it, launch it, connect it, then start the game, and you're good to go. And as you might have guessed, it's pretty pixel playtime. That 3060 didn't have a problem, no performance issues whatsoever, but we got to talk about the fun before I run out of time. I want to see if I can do this in like one minute because I just remembered I didn't start my clock. By the way, we're going to be doing like three minutes. The game is, at its core, frustrating. It's random because, hey, it says roguelite on it somewhere in it. And uh, it's got a couple of really nice insta-kill and serviceable combat and all that. It's I liked it, everyone. I know this is weird. Hold your breath. The first time I played this game, I was immediately smashed to death by a block. I grinned a little bit. I whispered, well played. That was, was good. That, was that me who smashed you? I think when we I was to... me smashing my own dumb self because ah. I pushed a block and a crush. And I, I was immediately brained by an attack arrow in the first three minutes of the next playthrough. And I was enjoying that. I was like, well played again. I didn't see that. And I like being kept on my toes. And Vangate does that rather well. I mean, everything drops items basically when you kill it. So you're constantly checking things out, upgrading, doing all that. And try as you might. Uh, turning Vanguard into a spreadsheet simulator wouldn't really be possible. It's kind of simple like that. And I appreciate that. Uh, now again, I like the simple combat and the platforming elements mixed with just the spike note chaos. I think it's fun, you know, and I fear like the reason you've never heard of this, or you might not even know that was in the Ukraine bundle. You just like looked over it. It's because of marketing, how it tells you what it is. Cause yes, Vangate, it is an action packed platformer. It does feature permadeath and procedurally generated levels. Yes, it's, I guess, technically a roguelike inspired game because you could use a Nintendo controller with it or something like that. I, we went over that in the pre pre super shows. <laughs> but what I think this game is is Super Meat Boy slash Bro Force with wizards and shit. And it has online multiplayer, which we tested out a couple times. I think we had a good time with it. We had fun with it. And. It does absolutely have a potential to become like an excellent 
fuck around chaos simulator. Even all these years later, this first got launched in 2018. It started development back in 2013, if you want the history. But I do need to speak to the price at $14.99. You're probably, probably best off because you need to pick this up with your friends. Where this kind of shines is the four-way multiplayer once you get that up and running and running around dungeons. And it's simple enough to keep me entertained with the combat and bashing. And there's enough spells and upgrades and things, I think, to be serviceable enough for your friends out there. They're like, all right, we, we don't hate it. I liked it. I thought it was good. I was pleasantly surprised at three cheers. Who's next? Uh, I guess I Jordan guess, can go next. I guess, I guess me. I'm the middle <laughs> child, even though I'm the baby here. On Fedora 3564, we met with the R930-900X and the GTX 1080Ti. Launches out of the box in a very, very, very tiny window, but you can drag your own resolution. Getting into the game proper is a little counterintuitive. I would recommend game developers that you put little... It's, Little text boxes with instructions like press start and pick a character to continue instead of here's a wagon. Get fucked. <laughs> Why is um, that screen there? <laughs> uh, p- uh, the PS4 controller works with correct prompts, but it does show up as a Steam controller if you have Steam input on. Uh, and you got to tell the game right off the bat which player is using which controller because it does have catch co-op. doesn't figure that out automatically, so it's a little old school in that regard. Um, yeah, the multiplayer is a little unstable. Stable. When you actually can get into the multiplayer mode without crashing, everything works fine. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when you either host a Steam lobby or host a server yourself, the game kind of eats shit. Uh, there's support for Couch Co-op 2, and I think you can actually mix and match networking mode and or network and local players, which is always nice. And the soundtrack is some decently well-done fantasy noodling. Fun-wise... It's it's side scroller net hack and that revolution revelation came to me the second I got a brown potion and a green scroll that I had to use in order to figure out what to do. Uh, they give you a save after every level, which ha- um, which each level itself has a locked chest and a boss with the key to said chest. Uh, fight the boss, unlock the chest, get out of the here, move to the next level. Uh, pretty basic dungeon crawler stuff. You got your three classes uh, with four different looks each that in multiplayer you can double up on your wizards or rogues or whatever. Any character can use any gear net hack style, but uh, your stats will differ. But you end most of the time though, even if you're a wizard, even if you're a thief, you'll end up using the best weapon available. So if you get a wi- if you get a wand that shoots lightning and you're a fighter, well, I guess you're a lightning wizard now. You basically just have to become the uber gish as you progress in order to survive. Um, honestly though, the combat here is the weakest spot, which in a dungeon crawler where you have to kill things, it's not really a point in your favor. You kind of jump and stab, maybe shoot if you have a ranged weapon. By the way, don't try and aim with the analog stick. Use the D-pad. Otherwise, you can go up or down, and that's it. Uh, if you got a spell, you got to do the Kamehameha to charge it up. I found that, you know, some some spells are more useful than others. Um, yeah, multiplayer is decently fun just because you can gang up and wail on dudes. So that's a plus. I don't know. I'm going to give it two chairs. Um, I think really you need you need people for this to be fun. Otherwise, this is kind of a lackluster side-scrolling roguelike. Yeah, uh, I'm going to agree with a lot of what Jordan just said. Uh, the uh, Over here uh, on KD Neon uh, with the RX 6700 XT and the um, Ryzen 7 3700X, it launched out of the box. It holds 144 at 2560 by 1440. I had to use KWIN uh, to get it to full screen, which was interesting because as soon as I set it to full screen, it would go back to a window. It's like, oh, we're going to play like that. Okay. Well, I have a window manager, so I managed the shit out of that window. Uh, <laughs> there's a, an option uh, in the menu to enable direct input, but it's grayed out on Linux. It works in Proton. Go figure. Uh, so if you want to use a dual shock or a dual sense, like Jordan already mentioned, you have to enable Steam input and then select Steam controller in the options. And you need to do it every time you start the game. Otherwise, it just doesn't register it properly. Uh, the audio visuals, well, if you're looking at the video version, they're, they're, they're there. They're serviceable. As for the fun, yeah, like Jordan already mentioned, this was possibly the first time in Ven um, that I had to press literally every button on the key uh, on the controller and then on the keyboard to, <laughs> to figure out how the fuck do I even start playing the game? You see the the little carriage uh, pass in front of a cave and stop. No prompt, nothing. And you look and at I, it like do something. I thought the game nothing. had crashed. <laughs> and so did I. That's why I tried Proton. <laughs> so uh, that's that's 
you have to push the menu uh, button, which is, I think, the default is start on the controller. Uh, and then it gives you a list of character classes and character looks that you can pick. Why is that not the thing that automatically shows up as soon as the little carriage animation passing in front of the cave happens? There's fuck, all else, there's fuck all else you can do in that screen, so why are you wasting people's times? That that just gets people to think, oh, the game is broken, so they instantly refund it. It's a little thing I like to call artistic vision. Yeah. <laughs> Still, it is a roguelike, and I like roguelikes. I tended to prefer the knight. Uh, it is, it's the, it was the one that let me kill the first three bosses reliably, and a lot of people liked it too. It's very positive on Steam, but Vagante specifically, I did not like it, it, it. You have to do a little chore to select the controller, and that doesn't help either. It's no two chairs. Uh, do, 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 and wait. Almost. Come on. Hey, they're coming. There you are. Hey, hey, can, 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 can you put it up before he runs out of air? Yeah. So, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Um, like, it's not, it's not bad. I just feel like, honestly, the combat is a little underdeveloped. Also, it took me forever to figure out like how to not get murdered by the shopkeeper. It's like, oh, hit R one instead of just walking through. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> don't I do, don't I do, go into his house. He doesn't like. I, it. I do appreciate that it <laughs> operates under Zelda rules, where you are able to steal shit as long as you're able to kill the shop shopkeep. And it, it does have chickens. I mean, <laughs> does yes. I yeah. I mean, it, it could be a little bit of a toss up. I I thoroughly enjoy the way it handles uh, multiplayer death. Yes, that that's cool. Yeah, where you get skeleton where, like, boys, <laughs> and like the skeleton boys can still operate around. Right, but if the last living player like becomes a skeleton, then it's game over. And you can, if you can make it to the end of the level, you can re. re and as a yeah. skeleton, you just have a bone to thump yep. people with. That's it. You can pick up stuff, but and you can res, which is also good, but. Yep. I, I think it's got a fun. Uh, here's the thing you get to consider: the three of us can probably have a good time playing any game. Oh, I mean, I, I thought it was all right in multiplayer, but I don't. This is not something I'd go back and play in forever alone mode. Yeah, I, I, I think the, the the combat isn't like good enough for it to support that. When you have like three <laughs> guys and you can corner fuck a dude and just wail on him until he dies, that's pretty fun. But I think that's fun, and I, I love the insta kill comedicness of like uh, when Jordan and I first just did a basic test connection, I immediately died because a block fell on me. Yeah, I was just like, all right, let's push them up, right? Okay, so falling. But I do, I one one thing this game does that very few games do, enemies are in fact, are affected by the environment hazards. It's really yes. annoying when you're if playing a game. they fall on spikes, they just die. <laughs> yeah, it really is annoying when the, and the baddies aren't playing by the same rules as you in a video game and it's like, oh, they can walk on the fire, that's fine, but if you touch it once, you die. Yeah, Which fun. means the value for your health is nine nine eight. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's the max value right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that does it for here. Coming up next, can you play with your Steam Deck while you are in an oven on the surface of the sun? Hot Steam right Deck up. action. Next. <laughs> the answer might surprise you. <laughs> right. You'll never believe. <laughs> this one trick Valve doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Doctors oh. hate it when people play their Steam decks outside. Oh, man. Doctors hate it when people do this with their decks. <laughs> Un unlock a hidden achievement with this one special trick. <laughs> All right. Hood removal. I'm ahead of you, Lex. Years and years ago, I used to like throw a red arrow with text under it. I was like, useless red arrow pointing at nothing. Yeah, we went through the red arrow phase. Uh, red arrow phase was the thing. Then we went through the big eyeball phase. Mm -hmm. Remember when the algorithm mm -hmm. liked the big eyes? The googly yeah. eyes, yeah. Yeah, the, this game title makes me think of this song. What is the song? Since I can't play it. Um, it, 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 they turned a bunch of Yahoo Answers questions into a song. It's pretty funny. It's, it's, it's clean. 
When nudie mods is in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Broke Cat Mountain. Fragorox. I like Super Bro Force Wizards. Super Broke Force Wizard? <laughs> Again, close. Valve, not Valve. Google. Close all tabs to the left. Mm -hmm. Give me that. <laughs> Granted, I need it once a week. Oh, Vival oh shit, Vivaldi has it. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you can set a desktop shortcut in Vivaldi to Google, so that. I don't have to <laughs> use two instances of we have Chrome at home. <laughs> We have Blink at home. Oh, no, yeah. that's Opera. No. <laughs> Can I get regular Chrome? No, no, no. It's just like Chrome, but with a bunch of extra shit thrown in. <laughs> I use a Vivaldi. I use a Vivaldi, Chrome, and Chrome Vita. I wanted work. to try the... Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a gaming browser that Opera makes. It's like Opera GX or something. I keep trying to load it up with Proton, Wine. It's like, no, it doesn't work. Damn it. Come on. For, for maximum Farmville Furps. <laughs> I'm curious. I want to see what's so gamery about it. <laughs> the browser for gamers. Now, has everyone else been trained to immediately yes, click yeah. through? And... I have an extension that does that. It's called I Don't Care About Cookies. <laughs> uh, the browser for gamers. Um, Opera GX, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> set limits, okay. <laughs> it works on your mobile phone, too. What is the special version of the re No one cares. Uh, <laughs> bring your gaming style to fuck off. Uh, well, it's not, it's not on iOS, so it's it's a skin for Safari. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what? They recently uh, did a thing where they're going to allow other browsers outside of WebKit. Is that because the EU threatened to smack them if they don't? Probably. <laughs> that, that, that's that's what made uh, that's what made Microsoft give up on forcing IE on everyone. Light and dark mode. Wait, let me. What the hell? <laughs> huh. you, you, ah, you, you, you know what? You, We've had enough of your bullshit website, Opera. <laughs> Listen, it only works if you view it in Opera. We're <laughs> clearly doing it wrong. Vertically. Ah oh, man, like. I used Opera. I used Opera when they came out and I'm like, you know what? Pop-up blocker yep. and tabs. Yeah. I used Opera on my iPhone. I had an iPhone 3 back in the day and Safari for that was shit. Opera mm -hmm. was I tried really nice. Opera. <laughs> I tried Opera on my <laughs> Nintendo DSi because there was a download for it and you could browse yeah. the internet from your DS. <laughs> and I thought that was the coolest shit ever in 2008. <laughs> Because I didn't have, yep. yeah. <laughs> it was advanced technology back then, man. Yeah. Now Opera is just another browser using. Do they use WebKit or Chromium? Uh, they use uh, well, Web WebKit and Pro is Chrome, right? Uh, the technically Chromium uses Blink, which is WebKit based. I think. Yeah, it's clear as mud. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's 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 a very complicated and sometimes incestuous relationship between these browser engines, and it's but, amazing just like how complicated and psychotic of a beast browser code base is. Oh yeah, no. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Well, if if you think about it, the browser is kind of like the ultimate like virtual machine this is what java was trying these to, days. Yeah. yeah that's what java was trying to do back in the 90s this is a literally right once run everywhere so there's all the abstraction all of it and yeah gotta gotta use gopher linux Nero. you're you're of that vintage no i'm not that old no i tell not in the bbs is back in the day but the first by the time I got like your standard TCP IP stack, uh, we had Netscape Navigator. It had just come out. It might have been out for a week, or two weeks, or 10 years. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I remember when we, got, 
when we got broadband and the internet was always on. Um, broadband was 128 kilobit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I remember my mom mm -hmm. on her computer wanted to, because she wanted to access a website that Internet Explorer just was not having it. It's like, is Netscape still around? Is Netscape still a thing? It's like <laughs> 99, 98, 99, something like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> 4.0, baby. Yeah. So we had Netscape Navigator for a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the days when you still had FFTP clients. I remember well, talking with... I work with, at a uh, place where people ask to have um, FileZilla installed on a regular basis. <laughs> oh, man. It's it, it's great having to deal with FileZilla users. And it's like, well, how do you... And th th they, mm -hmm. they can't like connect to an FTP. And I'm like, well, how do you... And they're like, how do you do it? I SFTP to the thing using the command line. Like a regular person. <laughs> I use a different <laughs> operating system. That's how. <laughs> yeah. Can't, can't do any of that from the browser anymore. Nope. You, if they set up the FTP with the HTTP uh, front end, you can still use HTTP. <laughs> you just replace yeah, the, the FTP with HTTP and it gives you like a very on, on basic... A Read only. Like, <laughs> on, honestly, honestly, though, at this point, like if you're not using SFTP... Like, which is literally just FTP over SSH. Then, like, mm -hmm. what the f what the fuck is even what What are you even doing, right? Hey, man, this machine's been running for thirteen years. <laughs> I think SFTP existed at that point. Um, probably. <laughs> somebody wrote in his little blog updating uh the oldest known Debian installation. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. to get that right uh because i might have been um uh, olden that show up on the news on my phone and i don't remember <laughs> upgrading yeah here we go here we go here we go um where's the uh link oh man not only was it an upgrade, it was a cross grid. A cross grid. Oh, going from uh, I three eighty six to sixty four. Oh. Ch oh shit, Chiar. Yeah, where you go to download Putty? Fuck. Right. It was running a <laughs> not point release, what? not nine three or five. <laughs> uh, hang on. Let's see. Last upgrade. Okay. 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 So it started off. But it's not currently running that. All right. All right. Uh, well, last update was Debian 8, 2015 and 2016. And he did a skip upgrade to 11. Yep. I mean, I would try it just to watch the dumpster fire, but. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, yeah, no, he's like, yeah. I, I fucking took an LVM snapshot. You fucking better have, man. <laughs> Good luck rolling that shit back otherwise. Uh. <laughs> LVM now ignores PVs. Winter contain. That's a bullshit thing to have to learn. Um, patches to <laughs> default can no longer. All right. Uh, <laughs> Just one of the config files. <laughs> he was not man. Oh, yeah. Py Py Python too. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That that upgrades a nightmare. There, 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 there's a reason why they forked Perl five into its own thing because nobody's using Perl six. Python, you know what? Good on Python is Python. That package that just saves so much time in dealing with that's Debian's solution to dealing with what version of Python. Python is just, Python is Python. Everything go here. Point of that. Yeah. But I haven't run into like. Go ahead. I was just say run, running Python on, on a Mac is a pain in the ass because there's the system install of Python, which is so fucking out of date, and then you want to install the proper version of Python, and everything's in slightly different fucking folders because they were all built with different parameters, and yeah. 
I posted that like very long torture session. Somebody got Nix up and running on his Apple, on his Mac. Fuck that. Like, I glossed over like twice trying to read the thing. Why would you ever even want to do this? Because you can. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, not to take anything away from it, but you could have been dealt a darker hand than 7.9. I, th I think I think the dark timeline version of that is like, yeah, this machine's running CentOS four. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure to finish that sentence is three ten eleven. <laughs> yeah. Um. As long as you were doing same for same, what, would you just try to yolo that up to like eight? <sighs> See this, and this you this could probably is do thing. the Rocky. Linux upgrade. <laughs> does Ro does Rocky do the Fedora upgrade? Because that so that that is that is the thing that pisses me off about CentOS, that they have it working super well in Fedora, and they're like, yes, but we will never let you just DNF upgrade to a different version of Red Hat. Why? Because oh, that was you. one of the things that they specifically did was so that if people were on Cent Seven, they could move to Rocky, which was effectively CentOS Eight without the streams. <laughs> So that's a thing the distro does. I think Alma Linux does it too. But I'm Al not sure. Al is it Alma or Almia? I think it's Alma. Hey. Alma it's Linux. what you get for not having that shit defined clearly. <laughs> yeah. Al Al Alma Linux. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, the scary girl from uh, First Encounter Assault Recon, the FPS. <laughs> Alma. All my nuts. <laughs> yeah, is I don't know. Uh, CentOS seven is it EOL this year, I think. Uh, the last year. Well, that might have been seven three. I don't know. Yeah, twenty 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 one. Mm. Uh, twenty twenty four. Okay, Alma. Because <laughs> I was having a talk with a one of the DaVinci Resolve people at Black Magic. Like, Y'all guys, guys got, got Plan B because uh, CentOS version seven, I think it's seven three that they have as a system requirement for DaVinci Resolve. That's EOL, and they're like, it's not EOL yet. I'm like, it's less than three hundred days, son. Uh, that might be a good time to go. Hmm. Peter expanded the title. <laughs> it's fear. <laughs> Everyone knows the game is fear, but it was an acronym. First Encounter Assault Recon. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, did everyone watch the inevitable outcome of the near Tamana? Mana Mana? Oh, yeah. It, it turns out it, it was, was mod, just yeah. mod hype. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I will tell you, I subscribed to the near subreddit until. Because I wanted I had popcorn out because just <laughs> watching that. Here's the problem though. Uh, what's his name? Toro, um, the developer. Yoko Taro. Yoko Taro. <laughs> Yoko Taro. <Like, laughs> Toro. Yeah. Uh, like Kojima, he's fucking insane too. Yeah. Japanese yeah. authors. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, him. Him. Suda fifty one. Kojima. Uh. There's another, there's another, he's, he does a lot of fighting game stuff, but I forget the guy's name. And, um, totally, po I, it was believable, man. I, when I first saw that, I'm like, hmm, my first thought was reinstall near it, which I did. And I'm like, nope, we're not. Go, go, <laughs> fi finally finish the 21st playthrough for the secret ending or whatever. Uh, three times. Do it if you haven't done it. Uh, you think it's? I thought it was dumb until I beat it the first time, and then I went to play it the second time. I'm like, oh, then you get to the third one. You're like, oh, all right, this is it. well. I will say, well executed on that. I didn't feel bad at all for laying it three times, but I did discover how to enter the um, development mode, which is available, which is like a Konami code that you got to hit, like right at the beginning. 
and then you unlock the chapter uh, when you finish so it the third yeah. time. You just get the chapter. You just pick a chapter, pick a character, go. That's why you can do the dev thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you just get everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got one little hot little piece of hate mail. So hot. So hot. So <laughs> steamy. Oh, did they get rid of infinite scroll in the Google Docs? I used to just be able to keep going. I read out of shit. I guess so. All right, fine. Be that way. <laughs> There's Jill and company. She's yeah. she's doing a lot of like fist out stuff. Is that is that her thing now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> lots 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 of air punching. Uh, I, I, I've just been. Um... Somewhat proud of Jill of wearing a 33% more Jill t-shirt the whole time. Where's <laughs> <laughs> the right. extra 33% though? Where's she, where's she storing it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in the, there, 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 there's, there's just like a, there's like a, there's like a third of a person in the trunk of Steve's car. <laughs> Maybe that's what <laughs> Steve's really up to, man. Yeah. Uh, let me get this locked and loaded. Um, nope, I'm too far. When I see Jordan Hemingway, I've gone too far. What? <laughs> the guy who made Distance. Okay, I, okay. I, th- I thought you were making some weird Ernest Hemingway joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. I have like a stack of distances. Uh, like you've went too far in the playlist. Yeah. I'm like, back it up. Then the, when I run into okay. a stack of dance bitches, I'm almost there. Right. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Why? Because I, like, cause, cause the I feel like doesn't getting... have playlists. Yeah. It, I'm not complaining. Also, player at least works. Uh, yeah. Let's answer real Linux questions from oh, real Linux users. Real Linux questions from fake Linux users. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> New show. The summer. Or next summer. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right when we finish the 11 other ideas that we've never executed. <laughs> the day after that, we'll be on it. Hate mail segment coming to your eye holes in three, two. That, 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 there have been a lot of ideas uh, floating around as to, you know, other things that Linux Gamecast could do as a network of uh, news based sort of around Linux on the internet. So if you'd like to contribute your own, I don't know, send a carrier pigeon. <laughs> remember, remember when we <laughs> talked about Doctor Who and Game of Thrones too? Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, uh, Game of Who. It, it, it's still on YouTube. And it's... do you realize what the fallout of that was, Jordan Swan? No. That's Pedro was saying. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can absolutely throw us your suggestions. No guarantees that uh, anything will ever be accomplished. But we will absolutely take them. You can go to linuxgamecast.com. You hit the contact button. There are some caveats, you know. If you have some suggestions, if you want to, you know, throw us some URLs or you you want us to have a look at your game. There's some caveats that you should absolutely read at the top of the contact page. If you don't, there's a form at the bottom and you do so at your own risk. There's an email address <laughs> if you want to send that stuff. It is written down. In the description, and it's an <laughs> inner fucking taining as I find you motherfuckers hammering on it, trying to get them. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the PR, like spammers and shit like that. They just keep trying, keep. We actually had somebody follow the rules, and we got a nice little email uh, from somebody working with uh, open source projects, yeah. trying to resurrect some things. Maybe, maybe that person will be on next week. I just want to let you know in case you're watching, like, we're going to talk about my thing. We will. We'll be in touch. But, Caskers, you can always leave us a YouTube comment post on patreon any place like that do not scream at me on twitter and expect that to end up on the show because i get way too many twitter notifications and even though i'll be like hey i'm gonna do that two days pass i'm like never <laughs> never read it <laughs> all right well i guess this this one is from the curse of costs um they say 
Am I the only one who saw that too hot to use gadgets outside headline and went, why would you want to do that? You're outside. Go enjoy it. Maybe it's the COVID lockdown whiplash shocking, or maybe I'm just too boomer, but I just feel like that. By the way, pro tip from an Aussie, 35 Celsius ambient is way hotter than 35 in direct sun. Don't leave your Steam Deck sitting in the dash of your car or wherever. It'll be all melty when you get back. No jokes. Yeah. No, uh, temperatures like 35C are taken in the shade. So in direct sunlight, that's going to be another 10, 15, 20C higher. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> How hot do you let it get? Um, in your apartment. Now the answer is I wonder how fucking hot it feels like getting. But <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, in here. It gets to about like twenty five, twenty six. Unless it's really, really warm, uh, then it will eventually hit thirty. <laughs> Even at thirty, I wouldn't hazard having a Steam Deck on indoors or outdoors. Probably at thirty is. F- I <laughs> as long as you're not choking the uh, intake, it's fine. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, man, at like 30 <laughs> degrees, if I'm sitting around at 30 degrees, I don't feel like playing games, Pedro. <laughs> it's miserable. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't feel degrees, like doing you, anything. You can tell yeah. how warm those monitors get. Yes. <laughs> I, I just want to lie down on like a cool floor and just vent yeah, open into the, the ground. The fridge or the freezer and just stick your head in. It's like, so what do we think about, you know, to hit back to the point, you know, if you're outside, just go outside, enjoy the outside, all the things that nature have, has to like stab you with, like insects and <laughs> sunlight. I mean, if, you know, if you, you know, I, I will say, if you want to go out to the park with your handheld and play some video games just for a change of scenery, go ahead and do that. Getting some fresh air is better than nothing. You know, never mind the great carcinogen ball of fire in the sky. Mm. Well, I mean, I the mean, cancer death orb in the sky is going to cancer death orb in the sky, right? You go out with your laptop, <laughs> and here's one thing before anybody goes, I, your mobile device. Yeah. Because that was my first thought. I was like, I know some people that will straight up not, like, maybe you can get them out in their front yard. <laughs> That's a, And even that can be a chore sometimes. I mean, change, I change people it, change who pace is always good. in their uh, place, they don't let go of their phone. <laughs> that it might just be an age is it, thing. Is it you? Oh, <laughs> it's not Nori either. Before oh. anyone has any ideas, <laughs> do you uh, like if I leave without a mo? I'm like, whatever. I'll get it when I come back. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm going uh, to the office, then I'll walk back home because. I'll need to ask Nori on my way back. Is what do we need shopping wise? <laughs> uh, so, so I, I've I've been <clears throat> I've been using the Pokemon Go as like a motivator to get steps in. Uh-huh. So I need to bring it along with it. Otherwise, it's not going to count my steps, and my eggs don't hatch. But outside of that, would you go back? Eh, not really. No. Like, what do, do you take it with? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you take it with you when you walk the dog, right? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Have, have, having a cell phone on you versus, like, using it all the time, I think, is two different things, right? Like, because when I'm walking yeah. the dog, I'm not, I mean, so, sometimes I'm on my phone. Most of the times I'm just, like, trying to pay attention. But I know every time sure. you're in that, like, peeking around the corner, every time you're in your mobile outside a bus, like, peeks around the corner. It's like, hmm. Maybe, maybe I can just. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Don't use your Steam Deck in direct sunlight. Don't put your. That picture will come. Don't Somebody. get Steam Deck and drive. Here's yeah, the thing. No. Steam Deck on the dash. Steam Deck on the dash has already happened. What we're waiting for is it to already happen to a person who's Don't. honest enough to take that picture. <laughs> Don't try to integrate the Steam Deck into your steering wheel so you can play video games while you're driving at the same oh, can time. Can you imagine like a Yoke Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's how everyone died, Your Honor. <laughs> and on that Parody bombshell. Don't sue us. Come on. Uh, <laughs> you can always get a hold of us live right here. Participate in chat when we do that. 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. But if you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm at Vin on mass.letixemcast.com. Screech at me. You can send me an email. It's pretty easy to figure that out. And uh, yeah, YouTube comments. I read those. I think Pedro reads those because every time I mention one, Pedro's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I read that. And Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, yeah. if it's like an older video, I might not see them. <laughs> so, there is that. We do enjoy your feedback. 
I am a slightly melted Jordan Swung shaped bobblehead sitting on your dash. You can watch me bobble and shed little bits of melted plastic on twitch.tv slash burning fool the odd time I stream, or more likely on Twitter uh, at the burning fool. Yeah, Twitter is definitely the best way to uh, get in touch. An account at four with F O U R, you got to spell it out because someone already taken the number four and they have not used Twitter, which is just insulting <laughs> they created the account and are just squatting on it i'm pissed <laughs> are you pissed never gonna get the money go. for it real talk have you approached the guy and be like hey <laughs> uh no to be fair no <laughs> i know what i'm doing tomorrow when i get done <laughs> we're gonna roll some credits well i should be just another guy named pedro mateus dude it's gonna be brilliant he's gonna be like yeah sure here. i'm like that's what i got pedro <laughs> Oh, we got a gang of patrons we need to thank and all the people who help make oh, the show man. possible. So many. Look, uh, we, got, we got our list of stars. Oh man, with the with the Hubble map, our list of advisors, Omegas, Arthur, and our Chicago or our executive producers. Uh, they are Barbara Scott Show, Atomic Cast, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, Pebble, Tomaj, and Unoid, and our little lone little Nicky fan, Abstraction. I got to play D anD D with tomorrow, I guess. All right. Yeah, and to see monsters, Red Rex, um, Magna, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Frostclaw, Nubbin, David, Darkwing, System T. Thank you for the notes. Plenty of death notes. notes. Nova K, Basil, yeah. Chris, Stephen, Jill. We were playing ice hockey without ice. Air, Foxy air is hockey. fine. <laughs> Marcin, Turnover. Cheesy uh, Bacon. Leonardo, Xanthros Gaming, Game of Tron, Doom 2.1, Roo, Turnover, Cheesy. Mr. Alert, a bunch of people at scale right now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Including Mr. Alert. Uh, we, we got uh, Simcha, we got Ertain, we got Ramwaza, oh, Igal, AJ, Evandro, Felatio. AJ. Don't forget Tom. Yeah. And all the fine upstanding yeah. cannibals <laughs> blinking on the wall behind me, like Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux New, Aldeus, Noctilus, uh, John, Eshep, Game underscore, Mo underscore, and Tron. Nice. Beautiful people. It's been a while, right? Uh, now click on that thumbnail, fam, or whatever, and Intel, grr, headaches. Smash the bell! You want to do the headache thumbnail? Oh, mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just grab your head. We will we'll be back like next week with actual YouTube stats, I guarantee not even joking. I'll pull those up live. <laughs> yeah. Also, I noticed the uh, Roman numerals were not correct. Oh, no, they haven't been correct for like cool. three or four weeks. Because <laughs> that said 513. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, okay. So we did all of last week's show with that number being wrong. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah. So all, yeah. all over here in Captain Obvious is, guess what? I didn't notice it until I was done piecing everything together. <laughs> then I get to the fucking credits to chop that. And I'm like, why is that say it was like 438 or some shit? I'm like, what the fuck? And I, oh I'm, man, how did I, what happened? Gee, <laughs> so I had to create this template and like, it was a lot of extra work last week. <laughs> but we got it out. We got it done. Look at that plane. We'll AI. fix it. We'll fix it in post. Or hockey. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will fix it in post. Indeed. I got like I knew I could just push that out with that, and probably no one would say anything. <laughs> you know what? I like playing air hockey with my rules. I like playing regular air hockey. I like playing air hockey with actual hockey sticks. Uh, <laughs> basic rules is. Uh, you got to be able to stop puck at any time if you can catch it. <laughs> so you got to be able to smash it and catch it and full bore attack every time. There is no like penalties for intentionally trying to assault the other person with the puck because you <laughs> angled it towards their face to bounce off. Oh, no, you just you just throw the little like puck. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that's that's one step too far. But yeah, being able to stop puck and bash. Um, big fan of that. It's a good way to get your knuckles cranked up, too. Man. <laughs> Probably break an air hockey table. Well, apparently Tony Hawk is going to Tony Hawk cover band. What? Concerts and singing along to Tony Hawk soundtracks. 
There's a lot of Tony Hawk in this. <laughs> this is this is your weekly Tony Hawk update. Thanks. I saw the um like somebody was recording their uh, Rage Against Machine. I think yeah, Guy, Guy Fieri. <laughs> yeah, they turn around. They're like, wait for it. You're like, all right, you win. I didn't. Yep. I couldn't have pulled that one out. Nope. Yep. Nope. Winning. And it's just like Guy Fieri performing fellatio on a cigar. Like, yeah, mm. he like fucking zoo. Um, <laughs> I don't okay, know what that was it about. Works for but, you, man. Yeah. Listen, he's, he's, he's down with the music. Yeah. Not hurting anyone. No. Uh, and he clearly I've, knew the lyrics. Yep. Yeah. I'm still sad that I did not get to eat at Guy Fieri's restaurant in Vegas. <laughs> fucking fucking soon them all. Ugh. He's like, no, we gotta check all the other places, and then we ended up just fucking going in and out because we couldn't settle on a fucking place. Oh, yeah, it's like console. no, yeah, yeah. we 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 had the place, we were right there, we were we were in line. Ugh. Uh. Man, consolidation prices. Um, consolidation prices. That's what it's going for. Yeah. Now I want some in and out. Yeah, no, it's just, I, I'm always in for some fast food you know what i don't mind in and out um it's a good financially it's a budget five guys yeah a hamburger at five guys will fuck up a 20 dollar bill yes yeah <laughs> five five guys is the expensive one and maybe it was the one that i went to but i've been there twice and it's not worth the money just fuck that <laughs> i don't know i've taken people there and <laughs> Like, I you know God I damn. I like I like I like a good Five Guys burger. I'm not I'm not like big into the Five Guys versus uh, versus In and Out. I think I think the burgers they all taste the same. Um, but like that's that's good. I like it. Their I'm diet coke tastes like diet coke. That's really my only review for it. <laughs> I I just I just want to stick a burger in my face. Mm-hmm. I, McDonald's is the cheap option here. I can't do <laughs> McDonald's burgers. Something about them just completely destroys my stomach. Sugar, pro, pro, <laughs> tons pro, pro, and tons of fucking uh, no, pro, pro, probably all the preservatives in the meat. Yeah, that's <laughs> there is. Speaking of meat, McDonald's, uh, they've uh, decided to pull the plug on their hippie burger. The the Beyond one. Yeah, like uh, when I was looking up uh, like stock prices and shit and doing all that with the AMD Intel thing, I ran across this like Beyond Burger took a fucking nosedive. I'm like, what happened? And a little bit of research, I'm like, that happened. <laughs> oh, boo! No more heavy burgers at Mc. I remember uh, it wasn't the McDonald's one; it was the Burger King one, the Impossible Whopper. It the it didn't taste like the regular Whopper, and the texture of when you actually bit into it was different, but it tasted good. It was mm -hmm. a perfectly acceptable Whopper replacement. I did not hate it. Well, Linux Nuru, you can't really be down on System76 about that because this is kind of like a, let's see how many people actually show up. This is a trace around for next year. Yep. You gotta, you gotta show up in the fursuit, though. <laughs> <laughs> in, 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 the, in the middle of a California summer. Oh. Fuck yeah. For, uh, yeah, fursuit. California heat. <laughs> Tape some Steam Decks to you. It'll be awesome. Oh, no. No, no, no. Bad, bad news bears, <laughs> <laughs> or what, 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 whatever Chloe is, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, what are you guys gonna do tonight? Do okay, I kind of wish some, the. Um, do you want to play some more Vagante? Vagante, <laughs> uh, I wish that was like a player because that would be some fun chaos. You know what? I'll risk it. Uh, even though it had problems last time, we'll play a little, uh, a little more TMT. TMNT. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go a little I'm down for, Yeah, we're, we're, we're almost done. We have like a couple of levels to go anyways. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. What did I s hmm. We got to investigate things, kid. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Mystery investigation time. Hopefully we don't commit a crime. Things might get wonky, because you're looking at the monitor. 
Ah, okay. R- running an update. All right. Uh, nope, 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 nope. guard. What's up, guard? <laughs> this will not get much, to it eventually. I have faith. There we go. Wait, no. All right. Uh, oh, no, I have it set on two. Right, maybe I need a lax in that for three, but anyway, I wanted to do it. We're totally on Windows, you guys. This is, uh... We're going to bounce over to After Shows, and if anybody wants to pop in, maybe participate, say some things, and, uh... That's what we'd be doing in just a second. Once I get this figured out. There we go. And we can bounce over into... Which one says After Shows? And this one? I assume I can't read... There we go. Um, two four ship. Haha. Damn it, you droopy suck. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel of the chair consumed it. <laughs> Damn you, droopy sock is not a euphemism for anything, I swear. No, it's my new children's book, you fucking monster. <laughs> the Adventures of Droopy Sock and Palmer. Damn you, damn, damn you, Droopy Sock. <laughs> <sighs> A footstale. Yeah. Oh, oh. We'll make it work. Uh, what was it? Oh, the D&D movie. We talked about that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still, you know what? What You know what pissed me off the most about that trailer? Oh, Is I don't that- know. You shouldn't put the mimic in the trailer. That needs to be a surprise for the actual movie. Oh, the mimic what? doesn't, but uh, but but the uh, gelatinous cubes is just fine. Yeah, gelatinous cubes are fine. The 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 druid <laughs> turning into an owlbear, even though druids can't turn into owlbears, rules is written is fine. I don't care. Oh, that's yeah, a rule. They, 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 yeah. they turn into animals, not abominations. <laughs> not monstrosities is is the current rule. Um, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, but like fucking whatever, right? I, but. I, yeah, the, the mimic should not have been in the trailer. That needed to be a surprise for the people who don't know what a fucking mimic is. <laughs> I know because of Dark Souls. Yeah, and uh, honestly, I like the Dark Souls mimics way better than the D&D mi- mimics because they're creepy as shit. <laughs> Just, <laughs> with lanky-ass legs right. and yeah. arms. <laughs> the, um, at least they didn't put the uh, spoiler at the end when the Enterprise, like, appears <laughs> dude if they if they like expedition to barrier peaks that shit and like they actually have to go into the crash spaceship which is the D, which is an actual D adventure oh. where, yeah where uh you can get like laser guns and shit and there's like a, a chef robot that tries to like stuff you to with pies to death that's great i love that. i would immediately try to find out whether or not uh, do they own uh who who owns uh, cbs properties if they're tied together Because what should be like some obscure ass like Romulan, <laughs> dude? Like, so like that that that's that's the thing. Like D and D is low key a sci fi setting, but it's like the it's like the all all the sci fi shit happened thousands of years ago. So like we call it magic, but yeah. <laughs> um, if you've if you've read uh, Jack Vance's The Dying Earth series. It takes a lot of inspiration from that. Which I had a lovely Dying conversation Earth with Steve Earth. about. Yeah, yeah. I heard of Foxy. I think. Yeah, Maybe. I'm here. Michael. I'm here. Michael. Michael. <laughs> I'm here. I'm just not often to say. Jordan was talking. He's listening. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I'm not saying anything important, so. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm gonna get something to drink and we can. Who's charged? Xbox, are you charged? Do you remember any of the moves? Mash button? Got it. Yeah, mash yeah, button. Mash, <laughs> mash, uh, mash X or square. <laughs> what I want to do is, uh, welcome to like eight years in running, is buy a arcade fighting stick so I can get back into fighting games. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because it's not the stick that I want, it's the fucking four on four button layout. Oh, yeah. You know, high, medium, low. Caps. Yeah. Well, it's not even that. It's I like my brain is programmed of like how to do the moves and shit from Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, 
where it's just that line of buttons going from like low, medium to high. Yeah. I never could play uh, Mortal Kombat shit on controllers. I mean, I could very, very poorly. <laughs> I played Mortal Kombat 4 on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, upside is most vice fight sticks work great under Linux. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you going to get, like, super into it? Because, like, no. there, there's a whole engine. There's an engineering subculture. I know you got into the vape stuff. And there's, like, that <laughs> level of shit for fight sticks. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting, like, the genuine um, Sanyo arcade sticks. The, 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 yeah. The do, really do, clicky doing, ones. <laughs> yeah, do, do, doing, like, the, the, custom, uh, the custom box art and shit. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. This is just going to see. That's going to be, like, the balancing act of, like, finding one that's serviceable. But is not priced for the people that's got to have the shit. You know, I want micro switches mm -hmm. yeah. on the D pad, on the wiener, on the controller wiener. Yep. Controller so dong. The actual proper arcade button. Or like, maybe we could get one with some speakers in it that went click, 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 click. I moved. <laughs> <laughs> like cars do nowadays for the exhaust nodes, just have a speaker <laughs> in the wheel well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, otherwise people get rid of their mufflers and they just sound like obnoxious assholes, right? Like you gotta give people what they want. Yeah, right. Walking to the car, walking to the fucking car, at the grocery, I had this thought because a Honda with a fart box attached to it when driving by <laughs> at the speed of smell, yet making the. I'm like, you know what? I'm glad that died out. That's a yeah, novelty you now. You, you, you know what? Yeah. So you, at the end of the day, put the fucking speaker in the car that makes the noise. It, that's right. what the people. That's what the people actually want. They well, don't actually. This is, this is, I think there's no small amount of like we want attention. It's the Harley syndrome, right? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, yeah, pipes yeah. save life. No, they fucking don't work to hit you anyway. I think, uh, as so often is the case, South Park pretty much nailed the motorcycle thing. Yep. Yeah. Like it's quiet. Just, burr, 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 burr. And I say this I'm used to doing a motorcycle. Just man, you want to talk about cultures you don't want to fuck with. I think that's true about everything. Is if you're going to get really deep into it, you're going to hit that particular segment of the fan base that's just No. Yeah. But <laughs> usually usually that's an offshoot. It's not the Oh, that's the majority. The default, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You don't walk right in and be like, mm, nah. You can pick and choose. And there, there's like varying degrees of it. You know, you can make this analogy with RGB, right? You get like, oh, it's got RGB on it. I cut it off, whatever. Or you got the people that look like a fucking vomit had a seizure uh, rainbow <laughs> in the room and shit's blinking and... You go back over to that person's house going, you probably just had this on to like, go, oh, hey, Ben you, was you, over, I'm going to show him all the RGBs. And you show back up in motherfucker's house. It's That's default, baby. <laughs> you, oh, that's that's just how he rolls. How much overlap do you think there is with like people who go super hard into RGB on like their computers versus people who go super hard into like Christmas lights? I don't know how much, I don't know what the meat diagram on that would be. Because yeah, like some some people like, and there are people on my street like, uh, I've 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 lived here for like two, a year and change now, uh -huh. or like yeah, almost almost two years. Uh, and yeah, there's been one guy one house on the neighborhood. They just go like full fucking Christmas lights. Do you have yeah. a spare case? Like with an old motherboard? <laughs> Do I have one? <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, not not anymore. They're all in use. Because I want to take a case and just fill it with some RGB fans and bullshit and just put that in the window for the holiday. <laughs> yeah. This is my Christmas <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and cut that on in the evening just to see what happens. Yeah. It sparks a conversation. <laughs> Your house is You're going to get into. a broken window and yeah. a stolen computer. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to close the door and seal it very tight with a ham. <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas ham. Oh man, Christmas ham. surprise ham. Ugh. All right, uh, yeah. Let me get something to drink. I'm gonna play some. Uh, I, 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 I so I, welcome I, to the I, Jordan I show. Yes. Yeah. All right. 
I'm going to tell you about how hungry I am. I all, we were we were talking about cheeseburgers earlier and and oh boy, I want a fucking cheeseburger so bad right uh, now. No, no food for me. Uh, Michael. I had a bit of a rough night, so no food. Michael, I need a cheeseburger. You okay? I can get you a cheeseburger, but none for me. All right. None, none, okay? for, none for you. No, you, 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 Anything else you, you, you want you, down you, at the shop? Well, so, 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 hold up. Our no, 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 no burgers. What, are, what are you eating? Uh, I'm not eating anything. Like I said, I had a rough night. So no food, please. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta yeah. keep your strength up, man. Yeah. I might grab myself a cup of noodle or something like that. I'll do. I, 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 I have this problem where, like, I know I, know I need to eat regularly, and then yeah. I just don't because yep. I'm lazy, and then I feel like shit, and I'm like, but why? Oh, wait, yeah. I need to eat something. Yeah. Unfortunately, I get massive um, uh, hunger headaches, so I know pretty quickly I need to yeah, I've been I've been getting a lot more uh, do, doing doing the fat loss thing. I'm a lot more sensitive to like low blood sugar now. Yeah. So it's like the the minute I get hungry, I'm just like I am I just drop into like. Bleh. How you doing on the target for that anyway? I mean, I'm on maintenance now, so it's six mo- six weeks of staying at my current weight, and then six weeks after that a loss. So. Uh, yeah. Because that's uh, appar- apparently that's the thing that people don't do is, is is the maintenance yeah well the body's got to adjust to the new surrounding new situation well that 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 it, like psychologically reduces diet fatigue um yeah you're, that, you're um that's really, that's yeah gives gives your body like you said gives your body a chance to stabilize at that weight and you know gives your body a chance to repair as well yeah I mean, yeah, like pe- people people uh, talk up the benefits of intermittent fasting. I was doing intermittent fasting because I'm a lazy piece of shit, and it's like, ah, yes, eat larger meals and scoped amount of time. That's what I do. Um, yeah, been doing a lot more protein shakes though. I did the protein. La- protein shakes very very, very lazy. I don't know. I can't. I can't do the eat once every three days thing that Ven does. Oh no, is that our boy Strider drinking? Oh, he's drinking uh, the devil's urine. He's drinking. He's, oh, he's, 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 he's getting like. the corona. Yeah, it the is devil's the urine. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. They, 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 they were out of Modelo's. Modelo Especial. Uh, yeah. I can go three days without eating. It doesn't bother me. I mean, you can go three weeks without eating, realistically. Yeah. It's, it's, just, not, it's just not super fun. Probably not a good idea. And you have Super Atomic there, and he goes for about three months. Eh, I mean, atomic, do you try to remember to eat out. at least once a day, kids? Mm. <laughs> Let's see if this thing seizes on. OBS doesn't like this game. Mm. All right. Because it's Vulcan. Ah. Hey. Uh, Steam Audio! Oh, I gotta hit the button. Do I have the button, Matt? Maybe? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> now I can just... move that. I think I have meatballs after we're done here. There's just meatballs? That would be a good I don't... I don't I... Well, I don't know. It, dep- it depends if there's any meatballs left. They're, oh. They're meatballs. <laughs> oh, oh, the devil's in the daytime. You didn't have like a strategical re- meatball reserve. We, I, I, there, there, there was one, but I think we, we were, we were at, at near the end of it. Mm. So I'm there, there, may, there, may, there may or may not be meatballs in my future. Um, one cap. Okay. Uh, 
dad used to make really fancy meatball sauce, and I can never fully replicate. But then again, I never bothered to ask him for the recipe. All right, there we go. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if only you could get him to like text you what the what the, what the recipe is. It is. I was like, it's true. I can give it anytime you need it. He's like, no idea. <laughs> Complete missed loss to the ages. Yeah. I actually found a different variant that's close but different enough, and I prefer. So I just do that. <laughs> It uses uh, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Liquid Worcestershire sauce. That's it. Worcestershire sauce. Alright. How do we do this again? So you go story mode and then create a party. Party up. Alright. Party up. Party up, Garf. Continue? Yeah. Yes. Continue. Now go through the tutorial again. <laughs> Just ma- mash the right bumper. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that? Okay, I'm just fucking with you. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> Ninja power. New power level. And I. Okay. Thank uh, you. Okay. <laughs> that one. Select. Oh. Nah, nah. Okay. Uh, party, yeah, up. party up. <laughs> Great party. Yeah, great party. And friends. Friends. All right. Join friend. Ven. <laughs> Known to be the crow. Nope. Too late. I'm Dr. Tello. Fuck off. Okay. I am Raphael. I would be a rat. <laughs> I'm Leo. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rumbles. be the I'm gonna be the only one who knows where the fuck I am. Who's gonna, gonna be, be the party dude? <laughs> uh, where's stream chat? I have no idea where chat's gonna belong in the game proper. We're gonna theorize uh, oh, like well. there. All Plus, right, I uh, only I only have levels on Splinter, so <laughs> going going to Raph would be like real right? mad. Yeah. Nine. Ten. Wait. Ten. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a oh, I got her along the track. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can uh, math uh, this oh. out. I'm just taking a look at like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. We have to go to like the alternate dimension or something. No. Turn left at eight. <laughs> there, there we yeah. go. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, right. The alternate dimension is later. Hey, uh, one more after this. Waiting for players? Oh. Okay. How do I skip? You can skip the step. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Triceratops. Triceratops. Oh no, Krang legs. <laughs> the Krang legs. legs. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. What the? Hang on. Yeah. Oh Look man, so many spears. Okay, those oh. spears are annoying. <laughs> What are these things on the wall? Uh, the pay things on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ben. You're like 2,000 <laughs> years old. Hush. You should know this. <laughs> I'm gonna kick this things out. Oh, okay, just in case. Yeah, the, 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 tr- yep. the Triceratons. Yeah. Damn it. Which button does a thing? Is it, was it Y? No? Yeah. Y is a special, yeah. Yeah. Why is this a special move? Did I but just you need to have special the uh, okay. bar charged up. Fuck it up. It's paper. Don't believe uh, it. See? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fire. <laughs> Uh-oh. That charges. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> damn it. All right, hang on. What? Okay, okay. That, that lights me up. <laughs> I think. Uh, watch out. Fuck! <laughs> that... Yeah, grab it. <laughs> Damn it. Nope. <laughs> right. You can't attack them. You can't attack them. <laughs> you just gotta dodge. Yep. <laughs> that oh. one has a shield, so we attack from the behind. Or you can do the charge attack. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Man, teamwork's getting my ass kicked, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just spam. I'm getting I just hit with all of the fire. <laughs> Does one of these crates have a pizza? It does! Uh, I need a pizza. Oh, hey. no. Oh, that was, wait, oh, did, did, I didn't get any pizza. Fuck all y'all. Oh, oh. I didn't... Yeah. 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 
flip. I'm out of power. Fire, all that fire. <laughs> Fuego. There's another box there, so there's okay, maybe see, pizza dodges. that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, you can also combo that into an attack, too, for like a lunge kick. Yeah. Ten flying attacks performed. <laughs> oh, hang on, who's that? Oh, Come on, uh, get... Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> didn't say anything. <laughs> it's okay. Communication is for suckers. <laughs> Gotta ask you a question. Damn it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, sword boys. Oh, my God. It tried okay. to tell me something, and I ignored it. <laughs> I found the crystal shard! Oh no, it's Krenishbanon! Now, like, Akar Kessel, I'm gonna Just be open corrupted. Open the Fargate. And, and a Dark Elf is gonna have to stab me a bunch. Get right! Yeah. There we go! Get, get, get after blindness! <laughs> Everyone just bust out their supers! I don't intend to take medical advice from the atomic ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a doctor. Oh, I need a, I need a rest. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's L1. L1. Give me pizza, um, for I am the pizza rat. Someone was already <laughs> doing it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, didn't you hear that teamwork is the way? No. Oh, I'm yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. I love his keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Yeah, and then Das Boot. <laughs> Told you. Oh, infinite, infinite power! power. Woohoohoo! Spurred! I'm spinning, I'm waiting for spot. shit to spawn, come on! Where am I? <laughs> no Triceracop. Oh, there I am. Ha! Ah. A <laughs> different beat em up, but yes. <laughs> Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Where am I at? Okay. Yeah, wait. Oh, there I am. Hello. Was, was oh, close. wow. We sucked that guy into the Fargate. He got killed by. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, All no. Right. It's a oh. contemplative Triceratops. We're fucked. <laughs> he's, he's, got little, time. he's got horn protectors so that no one gets hurt by his. At least it's not Lieutenant Ow. Zorax or whatever. <laughs> At least it's. Uh, why can't it be Zorak from Space Ghost? I always said. I hope not. <laughs> Probably. Okay, now now we got character blindness. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. yeah. I remember now, this game. Um, thank you, Flippet. <laughs> All of the rumblies in this game. <laughs> yeah. Haha, <laughs> I'm immune to it. I have an Xbox controller. This shit don't work. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, I. <laughs> I'm trying to take one of these uh Whoa. guys that keep on killing me. Yeah. One of those down. <laughs> Not happening. Yeah, we just gotta corner fuck them. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that, <laughs> oh. that was some yeah, light compensation just... there, game. Oh yeah. Yeah that was. <laughs> This game doesn't like people being very far away from each other. How can we throw people? Is it right button? Uh, no, you just, you just gotta walk up to them yeah, and hold the button. You have to be close. Okay, to I guess we can throw the Triceratops. Uh, no. Uh, I, I am uh, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. It doesn't look good. All we'll signs point to probably not. Alright, oh. right, I'm back up. Yeah, and I'm gone. <laughs> I got more lives. Oh, fuck these. God right? damn these things. <laughs> yeah, damn no, it. That, that is just bullshit. Zorak can eat a dick. You know what? I don't have a problem with you, Zorak. It's your fan club. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's almost dead. We got it. He did. He did. <laughs> we did it. Way to go. All according to Keikaku. <laughs> <laughs> All right, al almost with the fewest Yay! Oh. <laughs> Ouch! What? Oh, that's ah. Uh. 
hang on a minute. What? Hmm? I had the longest hit streak for the last number of kills. Yes. Yeah, because but- you can keep hitting people even after they die. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, just uh, as a combo extender. Yeah. All right. All right. Woot woot. Woot woot. Why do why would we go to the turtle layer? Is there some benefit to this? I don't Not know. really, no. That's Vegas. That's especially... Oh wait, no, that that's uh, character select. So if we want to switch it, out characters, uh, or um, it's just basically showing us what we've unlocked and stuff like that. Yeah. And the challenges. The po- the point is, no, we don't. <laughs> it won't fly. Oh, Baxter God. Stockman. I had a Baxter. Wait, I think I have him. I have to go check the briefcase. <laughs> I, 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 I like I like I like his uh, little legs. It's doing that yeah. thing again. Hold on, I gotta oh, return okay. to the main menu. <laughs> main menu, then join back in. Yep. That's what is the up, thing it does? Friends. I don't know. They'll be back. I hope. I don't know what the thing is. <laughs> I'll be back him. I'm just waiting for it to drop me back in. <laughs> I don't have time for you, Mousers. Get wrecked. (laughs) Alright, we're back. Man, I got plunged. (laughs) Keep or nothing. (laughs) It's the white sword boys. (laughs) Racists. (laughs) (laughs) This steel doesn't see color. That's why I got a stick. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a stick too. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's ah, yeah. sparks. Yeah. <laughs> Spill that jelly. <laughs> yeah. Twice in a row. God damn it. Right, fuck these things. Damn it. I don't have yeah. enough juice. Ah, I didn't need that kind of juice. I need the, the other kind of juice. dog pushed me into the sparky spark. <laughs> the dog. Okay. Yes. The robot dog thingy. <laughs> That was you, motherfucker. Get back here. (laughs) (laughs) You can't hide off screen. (laughs) He's still fucking there. there. (laughs) (laughs) What an asshole. (laughs) This is how he rolls, man. That's all he knows. (laughs) What a little piece of shit. Fuck that guy. There you go. More plungers. (laughs) Uh oh. Fuck. Um. There we go, nice and done. That's what I like to see. Let's kill the little fucks. There we go. Man, Leo oh. Leo sounds like he's been smoking two packs of cigarettes a day for the past 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't they get the original voice actor? So yeah. Yeah, that's what it's, that's... <laughs> oh, that would be great if they did that. He's got emphysema. Michelangelo is like morbidly obese. <laughs> <laughs> Robot Chicken did the t- the geriatric Ninja Turtles when they're in the retirement home. <laughs> Man, utter chaos. There we go. Those boys are probably kill you. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh look, it's it's a it's an Nvidia GPU fan. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's that's what I think when I see these now. No, I legitimately like the first thing I had to do was the thirty sixties because it was trying to be clever about like not cutting the fans on, and the temperature is the varies 0. 0.5 degrees from fan off, fan on. So you, it's just a mm-hmm. constant like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it's the rattle when it first starts up, and like they're quiet when they get going, but you constantly hear like tick 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 tick. Oh, I just had to like force at them. Damn it! <laughs> I'll play my Game Boy, man. I don't even know what that is, but fuck it. Uh, what is this thing? Whatever that is, is no laughing matter. It's probably oh, gonna that, kill us. Oh, the uh, the the dive kick, the uh, square uh, square circle square combo is really good into the uh, charged attack. I guess for a splinter, at least. <laughs> Got my ass kicked. <laughs> it's too advanced. Hey, level up. Woo-hoo. 
Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Freezy things. Oh, oh, hello. Nah, I wasn't anywhere near that. Fuck you. Damn it. Ah. Run. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't get run without you. There's a there's a pizza up here if anyone needs. I'm good. Yeah, I'm my... Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> there's a way to get health for each other. Oh, you just don't That's pick the... up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do it with the ninja power, but I yeah, it's part of the uh, tutorial I never read. <laughs> yeah, like your heart. I read it better. once. <laughs> well, la di da, Mister oh. Reading Books. <laughs> oh, la -dee da Mr. Fancy Pants. Well, la -dee da Mr. Literate. Slap! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm gonna stand still. <laughs> that seems to be the that seems to be the good way to avoid the zappy zaps. I tried hey, to grab. There we go. All right. Oh, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> what Let's is go happening? Into the turtle power. Let's go. Rub your turtle all over them. <laughs> Big mouse. On there somewhere. There I am. Aha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. Why? Wow. What the hell was that guy? All right. Hang on. Hang on. Don't on me. Granted, my ping is. Hey, everyone gets help. Because <laughs> it's going to be Baxter shot put. <laughs> Can you imagine getting that fucking call? Be like, what? That voice? What? Yeah, I, I yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> you're, pay, you're paying me how much? All right. Right. <laughs> Damn it! Of course you hit me. I'm just gonna stay on this side. Somebody come over here and hang with me and attack him. I'm I'm just doing aerials against him. That's my. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's, uh... oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Ah, shit. <laughs> no! Wow. Okay, it I'm... seems to be aiming for me. <laughs> I was wrong every time. I'm like, I can I can predict this. Nope. I have no death procession. Damn it. <laughs> the death procession? Yeah, that's a... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a... There's, a, there's a bit of that in this game. <laughs> Fuck! Down! <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I would. I would like to be able to line up with my hits, please. Yeah. Yeah, that was right. Ow. That's a bit challenging. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about that bar level in um, Back to the Future on NES challenging. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, he's almost dead. There we go again. Oh, oh crap! Damn. Quick yeah, fire lasers. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> okay, that that was fuck you. That that's what that was. Yeah. Uh, How? What is happening? How are we supposed to get around that? You're not <laughs> at the exact right time. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. You can't dodge up and down though, which is the problem. Yeah, you just dodge. <laughs> and you uh, use yeah. the iframes like a true Dark Souls player. Oh, oh, I see. It's 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 just iframes. Got it. This is, All right. this is, yeah, okay, that yeah, that worked. Alright. Except it, it worked one time, and then I couldn't time it right. Button mash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one and out. Ah, so so I can do it perfectly exactly one time out of eight. Amazing. Damn it. I cannot get on the same plane as this motherfucker. No, yeah, he's right. changing uh <laughs> that things a lot. <laughs> there we All go. Right, he's it. dead. There we you go. Dick. <laughs> Oh, my waspinator! Whoop, whoop! Katana, I too never hear the fans because I've set them to 35%. Just on. Hey, Duh. there we go. All right! I love being a turtle. Pacifist streak. Yeah. 
Listen, the best way to win is not to fight, right? <laughs> oh no! If you fight, your enemies win. It's the full crank bullet. Oh, 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 here, and he's in his fuck? Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Hey, Ooh. there he is. All right. Yep. All right. Now we're in the alternate dimension with the beans. Lots of dimension beans. X. The beans dimension. Yeah, it's from Magical Trevor, right? Yeah. It goes to the beans dimension. It's a uh, Krang's dimension. <laughs> Listen, you can just call it my house. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds dodgy. I'm in. <laughs> oh, some some Mario shit. Okay, I guess we got. Dude, you gotta hook me up with your fucking decorator, homie. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he uh, slipped and he fell into the void. So if you if you just keep going that way, you'll eventually find him. Like he turned into a screw. Yeah. <laughs> he was one of the bosses we killed. Sorry, you should have mm. told me earlier. It was the oh. Triceratops guy, right? Like <laughs> Tech Genuine. Drone. Oh man, this track is dope. Oh, it did it again. God, can I play two um, levels in a row game? Ew. <laughs> Not allowed. Damn it, you're going to endanger my, um, pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> what if we get two people trying to be rough? That's not going to work. Oh. Can I throw you, Well, someone else spawned in as Raf, I think. <laughs> nope, it was me. Okay. That was good. I, I, oh, I just chose him on a different slot. These are a bunch of Benjamin Grimms. All right. <laughs> I don't do the streets right. <laughs> Why can't the drop kicks interrupt the charge attack? It seems Reasons. like it would be effective. <laughs> Clippy's gonna pop up and say, it looks like you were attempting to use strategy. Oh, nice. I unlocked an extra oh, power up bar. That's gonna be handy. What the fuck yeah. is this nozzle shit? <laughs> you found the VHS tape. That's what that is. <laughs> the nozzle. Please do not engage with the nozzle. The nozzle is now calibrating. The nozzle is now calibrating. The nozzle has completed calibration. Yep. And now we have the color swaps already. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you're just giving somebody with a 3D printer fucking like trauma, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. That's what I call turtle soup. All right. <laughs> Oh, lag counter. <laughs> you got a pack of smokes, Raph. <laughs> oh. Right. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Ow. I love Maggie's run. Oh, fuck. More nozzles. <laughs> I vaguely remember. More them. nozzles. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh, come on. What the hell hit me? <laughs> Ninja <Go>. Zeus. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, an elevator stage. Well, well, okay. Pizza time. Okay, so that that means no charging enemies from the sides, but there is the stupid things from the top. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Well, in the last retro game, this pretty much meant oh, we went flying out of the elevator. I am every yeah, time. yeah. I, I, I remember Streets of Rage Four. Yeah, that was fun. How do I help? Thank you. A button. Uh, L1. Okay. Yep. 
me wires. Oh, right. <laughs> I can't see my character. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that. Well, welcome to the club. Likely excuse, Matthias. <laughs> Likely excuse. I genuinely could not see it. <laughs> All right, boss time. General oh, Trang. Trang. What the hell? <laughs> Who just wasted that? I mean, that was me. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm down. I mean, I'm doing the stupid amounts of damage, so I guess there is something to it. <laughs> and I'm down again. God dang it. <laughs> I'm nearly down. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I keep hitting the charge button instead of the heal button, and will I ever learn? Hey, he dropped the shield. Help. You got him. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right this oh. time. You can't interrupt. You can't interrupt their charge. That's some bullshit. Nope. I know. They, they they can absolutely interrupt yours, and you can't interrupt theirs. That's for Yeah, you could be doing the drop kick from across the map, and they will stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, god damn me, jump. Let's go! <laughs> he did. He died. I'm his general track. <laughs> oh, no. That was not a some... That oh, was the mini god. boss. <laughs> god damn it. More, more yeah. bullshit. Alright, cool. What was that? That, that. Thank you. Uh, Move away from the zappy zap. Yeah. I'm just glorified support here. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. That's right. it. How do you do the high five there? Got it. Uh, I have no idea. Just press the LB at the same time. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh no. no Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Through the nozzles. Gonna yeah. turn you into a turtle <laughs> speed bump. The nozzle is calibrating. Don't There's engage. <laughs> Watch out. Okay, th these are shocky things. Yep. Yes. I'm just waiting on that. <laughs> no, what? Because reasons. These things are gonna try to kill us. Ah, right. damn it. Damn it. Uh, it. Really? Need a res. You feel good, game? You got that <laughs> last one in? Yeah. Ow. There we go. Alright, I'm, right. I'm, right, I'm gonna stay away from that, because I know that the second <laughs> I get up, I'll walk into it. It's it's inevitable. <laughs> oh, finally, we have more shard. <laughs> Another crystal shard. <laughs> I, sh I, I shard myself. <laughs> I thought that was an interesting choice to completely remake a Kmart instead of VR. <laughs> yep. Some people really have Kmart nostalgia, I guess. Retail therapy. One way or another. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> oh no. Oh. It's, it's not Shredder. It's Cyber Shredder. He has the coat hanger in his chest. What? Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome. <laughs> Man, they were not struggling with these names back in the day, were they? <laughs> they listen, they, they, were, they were toys. They were just toys they had to sell people, right? Yeah. Did we get. Did we, oh, we're playing from the Chrome Dome perspective? Okay. Yeah. All right. Ow. Uh, Ooh, look at that, like, rotoscoping. Not rotoscoping. Get wrecked! Yeah! <laughs> the, the, this, this is why uh, Vagante is fun with uh, multiple people. It's because you can do that to enemies, and it's great. 
<laughs> it feels good when you can do it to others bit. after they did it to you. <laughs> Ow! Frick. I guess we could like... Play here? <laughs> oh no, watch out. Go ahead, go ahead the thing. Why yep. Do do <laughs> I'm down. Alright, get him, get him, get him, get him, motherfuckers, get him! Get him, get him like Venom! <laughs> Ah! Uh, Let's uh, bring Rohit. Oh, where am okay, I? I'm trying. I'm down. I need, I need, I need some help too. All right. Well. Yeah, I'm down. Help, please. All right. Well. I don't know. I can't. I can't. All right. Well. That was the problem with that. All right. Well, I got extra life. Yeah, we got extra life. And there we go. <laughs> Damn it, of course I get punched immediately after that. That's... Of course, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how again. that works. Hey, team punching. <laughs> Better throw one at him. God damn it. That was short lived. Oh, alright. So, you, you, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the up throw, right? Yeah, no, press down, yeah. Go up and throw. Yeah. Okay, I just need to, like, not get punched by <laughs> this guy, go. though. <laughs> there. Alright. <laughs> Come on! Oh, right. oh, God damn, damn it! it. He, he just fucking woke up, punched me in the fucking face. God damn it! Okay, he doesn't stay down for very long anymore. All right. <laughs> oh no! This is artificially stretching yeah. out the goddamn boss fight, man. Yeah. There we go. Come, Come on, on, there. Oh, we go. Really? Magic fucking oh. sliver of hell. <laughs> Magic pixel. <laughs> oh, what? Really? what? Uh, what? I bullshit game. Do you, do you have to like do it one more time or some shit? Maybe. All right, phase two. Uh, no, it was not the taunt that I wanted to do. It was the other one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting my R's and my L's mixed. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> Yours. Yar. Oh, okay, okay, we need to throw send ahead. another one because I sent one to him and he's not back yet, so... Oh, he actually does telegraph where he's gonna punch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> Take right. him out. There we go. <sighs> we did it! Get our ground. Cool. Hey. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Michelangelo spent the most time running. Alright. I'm right. I mean, yeah. We've made some progress. I think that's going to do us for tonight, though. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> Amigo. Next time on the Technodrome without wheels? <laughs> <laughs> do we get to drive the sports car? Is that going to be a level? Space sports car? I hope. Oh, man. That might be fun. Might. It's probably going to be another highway level. <laughs> well, fuck those things. Oh. Hopefully it's not one of those flying ones. Like, that, oh, the flying one was fucking terrible, my god. Oh, tell man. me, talk, talk to me about like not being able to line up your hits. <laughs> I want them to go like do a full, like legit beat for beat remake of the Battletoads level. You know the one I'm talking about. Uh, the, the the one where you had to like actually like fail in every conceivable oh, yeah. way so that you could know because otherwise you had to learn it and you have to have it down and it just it got like I don't even know if I right, have the reflexes to get through that shit <laughs> at this well, point the nice thing with did. emulators is you can cheat and just slow the game down yeah <laughs> and save state <laughs> possibly Ah, everyone, that's going to conclude our broadcasting day. We're going to hang out, say goodbye real quick in the after shows. And if you want to pop into Discord and listen to that nonsense. But yeah, we'll be back uh, Tuesday with tracks and cars and maniacs. I saw uh, Scott was playing it uh, earlier when I got home. I'm like, uh oh, that might be an interesting challenge. I don't know. It, <laughs> it doesn't have tanks in it. So he's probably confused. <laughs> All right, good old people. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. <laughs>